What's going on, everybody? What's up? What's up? I am here playing some Orcs Must Die 3 on Steam. Oh, yeah. Let me check one of my windows here real quick. I do apologize, y'all. Um, so, special thanks to Robot Entertainment. They uh, got me access to the game early. Uh, it does launch on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox on Friday. So link down in the description below. Uh, I'm super stoked about it. There's uh, lots of additions versus the Stadia launch. And uh, let's hop on in. Now, yesterday I played through the main campaign. Uh, so today I want to get a few more unlocks done. Uh, I still have the Jurassic Steps campaign to play through. I still have Endless Mode. I uh, still have Scramble too, which I haven't played at all. Abaddon, what's going on, man? And then uh, Weekly Challenges. What's the Weekly Challenge? Ends July 31st. All right, so this challenge is going to reset um, on launch day, so I'm not even going to bother with that one. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at our spell book. Now, I don't have any skulls saved up. I'm in that stage where I need to be grinding skulls. And um, let's see. What do we want to do next? I've got Auto Ballista set up. I kind of feel like I need to get my stone staff unlocked. The stone staff is just such a meaty, meaty tool. The Ring of Storms is uh, back from OMD2 as well, which is super awesome. It's only four to unlock it. Reduce mana cost, secondary launches, increases secondary attack range. Deal 15,000 damage with primary. I think I just want to hop into one of the early maps and get this 15,000 damage dealt. What's going on there, Mellow? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, y'all. Let's do that. Let's get uh, let's get our stone stat squared away. Now, for me personally, one of the easiest ways I found to unlock these items, like, you know, I'm trying to get this 15,000 damage dealt. That way I can uh, unlock the unique upgrades. For me personally, what seems like one of the easiest ways is just to hop into the first map. Maximilian is gone. Working on Victor Vran. Nice, nice. Uh, there's no okay, word when the DD2 update is. Lift. I mean, yeah, it's chromatic, so right? That, if we get it any time between 2020 now and 2021, consider yourself lucky. Tracks placed and stay on the move. I will instruct you further when I can. How do we hear her when we can't see her? Telepathy, genius. Now, let's try out these traps for real. All right, now I'm just on the first map here, and the reason being what is it's an easy not? map. So, like, I'm trying to just unlock damage on the weapons, so I'm hoping just going through this map and not using any traps and just killing everything with my stone staff Enemies are preparing is, to breach is gonna get me that 15K damage done, gate. which, you know, I mean, we don't know. We'll have to see. Waiting for the 23rd. It's almost here. It is almost here. My headshots are not very much on point. It feels like the volumes are a little bit high today let me turn this down just a little bit just turn the master down let's go down to 80 percent see how that is so just not going to use any traps and just trying to get that 15,000 damage unlocked here all right Braden. well thanks for swinging by oh, have a uh, wonderful way. rest of your day I want to get the stone staff going basically before I start the drastic steps DLC because there's like flyers are the real deal, right? I should have brought uh, a mana rage trinket too just for that additional mana pool, but I think we'll be all right.
Well, ideally, the update for DD2 brings enough where you never have to worry about doing Onslaught again. Because it's the, like, the most ass game mode in the game. It's fun right at the beginning, but that quickly wears off when you realize it's just the exact same thing over and over and over and over again. But anyway, today is not about me complaining about DD2, it is about Orcs Must Die 3. I'd like to get, uh, I'm not gonna start working on any high scores really until, um, until the game launches. You know, I don't feel... I mean, I'll end up incidentally getting some high scores just from playing. But I don't feel like it's uh, a good choice. We did it. And by we, I mean me. Just I'm go ahead and get the next ready. one going. Ready? I'm ready. Wait, four. I'm not sure if this is 50k damage. Or was it 15k? I don't remember however much damage it was. I'm hoping this is enough. And I'll pick up a couple skulls too, you know, because I am really short on skulls as well at the moment. Pushed all the way back here on this one, I think. Yeah, that's all right. Hopefully we're getting enough damage done here to be able to complete the unlock. We only have half our rift points remaining. All right, let's see if that got it. Please have gotten it. All right, let's head back out to the campaign, take a look at our stone stuff. Oh no, it didn't quite get it. God dang it. I really, really want to get that unlocked before I jump into, uh, drastic steps you know what let's just go ahead and try it let's try it abandoned passage here we come it's been 20 years since max and i started the flyers become the real deal here everything has been going really well and i had managed to maintain control until now the orc armies were getting bigger and stronger somehow. War mages were disappearing or being slaughtered everywhere. It was looking like a more seasoned war mage might have to come out of his own self-proclaimed retirement. Yeah, I'll just get to unlock as I go as well. Um, the, the Jurassic Steps DLC is just quite challenging. And the Stone Staff is just a really big tool. Uh, for dealing with flyers, you know. Still packs a punch. Alright. Oh yeah, good to go. We are playing with good old Maximilian. Well, let's right. see. I am back. I'm gonna get rid of that what and go do? with the stone staff. Jar of ghosts. Uh, I kind of feel like I want the auto ballista too. Of the orcs. We just have to keep defending the rifts. Be on the lookout for anything strange. And what else do we want? armies as well. Ah, I love it when she hmm. Now bring it on. I think we're actually going to just go with Auto Ballista Spam, to be honest. Auto Ballista, the Jar of Ghosts, and the Stone Staff. So here's the deal. You got one ground entrance, but this map is all about the flyers. You got a flyer entrance here. You got a flyer entrance here and a flyer entrance here. So you kind of have to decide 
do you want to try to automate the flyers or do you want to try to automate the ground lane? One of the two. And the part time is really tight on this one too to get five skulls. And I don't think I'll get five skulls on this run. Tawny man, what's going on? But what I'm going to do is try to double dip and get some assistance on the flyers and the ground lane. Now, the stone staff is just a huge, huge tool for flyers. And the reason is, is if you freeze or stone an enemy in OMD2, uh, a flying enemy, they insta die. And that, that is huge, you know? Got one more coming. Okay, I think that was it for wave one flyers. Well, we got kobolds too. I did bring some brimstone. Uh, that will help me with the kobolds just in case. The blunderbuss can be a good tool on this one too, um, if you're comfortable and familiar using it. That jar goes there. A little bit older, but a little bit All right, so we got that one down. Let's just continue on the auto ballista spam here. I do want to spread them out a little bit, though. Looks like that was all I could get. No, what's going on? Uh, I haven't. I don't. I still don't have any everything unlocked yet. I'm at the grind skull point um, of the game to try to get the unlocks. So I didn't play last night after stream because I'm. You know, I'm trying to get as much of the early gameplay online uh, as possible. Look out, flyers! Now, one of the benefits you have here is there's no death penalty in OMD3. So if you die, you're not going to actually lose anything. And on this map, it actually seems sometimes mildly convenient to die. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to lose some stuff here. I'm out of juice. Enemies at the rift. I mean, I think we've got an armored ogre, maybe. Yeah, we do. Oh my gosh, did I, I may have actually uh, somehow survived that. I don't know how. All right, let's grab some brimstone here just to give me a little assistance versus those cobalt runners. And that gives me enough for one more auto ballista. Flyers incoming. We got more flyers coming. I thought that was it. Ideally, you, if you get, um, oh no, Woo. ideally, if you can, you can get flyers and ground enemies uh, in the same petrify. There are enemies in our rift room. Flyers. Oh no, I'm out of juice. Oh. They're almost there. Is that it? Enemies at the rift. Oof, my goodness. That was quite sketch. 
All right, let's continue on. More auto ballistas, please. And let's see. It looks like it's just this flyer lane this time. Yeah, I should definitely have the upgrade now. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, you can get it from just playing. But of course, we all want it. You know, it's the same thing with like farming skulls. You oh, yeah. can farm skulls very efficiently yeah. just uh, kind of manipulating the, the score and the, the uh, kill streak bonus. Um, but it does take away a little bit from the fun, you know? That's a little Noel Grenadier action. Get that guy down and then just start working on uh, these flyers here. Lots and lots of flyers on this one. And elementals. Alright, we got another Grog Grenadier. We're gonna have to get that guy down right away. Looks like I am gonna die. But, as I mentioned, no death penalty. So, it's not exactly the end of the world if you do die. It's, uh, it hurts your pride more than anything, right? <laughs> This is quite sketchy here now. Okay, that was fun. All right, somehow managed to get it though. So once again, more auto ballistas. The more auto ballistas you get up, the easier it all becomes, right? Hello, old trap buddy. More Flyers enemies on the way. Air. Flyers incoming. All right, so we got flyers here. We got a grenadier. Enemies at the rift. Enemies at the rift. Oh, somebody got in. Right. I didn't see. I'm assuming that was a flyer, maybe. There are enemies in our rift room. I lost another one. Dang it. Enemies at the rift. Another grenadier as well. Oof. Big oofs. Two grenadiers. Oh shit. They're almost there. Yeah, we're gonna lose some mad points here. More enemies in the rift. Enemies at the rift. Quite sketch, quite sketch. We're gonna miss the our time too. There are in our so room. I think the best we're going to be able to do here is a three skull. All right, let me throw um, some up here as well. I like it when the orcs just just kind of spamming them around. This is the final Lions wave. The way. Look out, flyers! Yeah, flyers both sides. You know what? Let's, uh... Oh, shoot, man. There. We're just getting too close. Oh, out of coin already. Enemies at the rift. There are enemies in our rift room. Ooh. What do I got? I got 16 left. As long as I don't let 16 of them in, I, that I at least get the completion, right? <laughs> this is a challenging map. It's definitely quite challenging. They're almost there. There we go. All right. Well, we got it finished anyway. What's going on there, Michael? How you doing? Kiwa, hello, hello. How's things, y'all? Works must die three, y'all. I got uh, a little access here. See, now this is what I was talking about. If you talk about, um, or if you, like I got seven skulls there, even though it was only a three skull map. I got one skull for high score. I got another skull for kill streaks on top of the three skulls. So 
you can farm skulls this way. Um, I'm now up to 12 skulls. So if I go back in, my stone staff is certainly uh, squared away now. Um, I feel like I want to increase the secondary range and then go into this reduces the mana cost. And then I'll go one more into that one as well. But let's continue on along. Here we are on the aqueducts. Um, well, don't wait and stare at it, Michael. It's well, that was good three years in the making. Yes. It's a one-person task. So just don't, you and know. You see just how much I when it gets here, it gets here. Uh, your best bet is to just ignore it and play something else. Let's see. Now, I didn't unlock the saw blades, but I feel like the saw blades might work out decent on this one. Well, but, I mean, for wave one, we've just got this, right? And there's no flyers. So, why don't we just do this? What do we got? We got 5,500 to work with. I should have somebody to do this for. We can go something... Actually, let's do this. Then we'll put that barricade up front. That way we can fit a uh, floor scorcher in. Let's, let's let it fly here. Sorry, y'all. Adjusting my mic. Don't mean to make y'all's ears bleed here from the... Enemies the popping and whatnot. One of our gates. The door is down. We got ogres right out of the get. They're attacking a barricade. Breaking through elsewhere. Oh, we got an armored ogre. Huh? Taking a lot of damage from flyers here. Holy crap. No, no info. No info, y'all. It's not going to happen today, from the looks of it, or it would have been out by now. So don't think it's going to come today. All right, that was quite rough. Now, what's opening? It looks like we don't necessarily have anything opening yet, huh? More enemies on the way! <laughs> Damn it. Hopefully that holds for a second. Eh, a couple of leaks. That's not bad. And this is sketch, huh? Shoot, man, there's a mana potion, too. I'm grabbing that. It's, I can't pass that up. That was me that did that thing there. This one has a uh, endless map as well. What's going on there, Python? How you doing? I feel like the effects volume is too loud, too. I'm going to turn that down a little bit here. The stone staff is quite noisy. Let me see. Let's take the effects volume down to, like, 15%. All right, so what do we got? We got the other lane. This lane is staying open. Hmm, I kind of feel like I should just sell everything and just make one kill box. Now, I'm going to have flyers as well. Let's just do that. 
I'm eating into the part time, of course, but I'm not overly concerned with that at the moment. Let's do something like this. This never gets old. And force everything into one killing zone here. It's just so pretty. Now this is off the last resorty, right? Hmm. I got nothing else for the ceiling other than those. Alright, let's do it. No, I'm playing on Steam right now. Uh, I'm not seeing any issues uh, on my end with the stream quality. I've got no dropped frames or anything. Might be, maybe there's something with um, YouTube uh, ingest servers or something now, possibly. A little fuzzy, even on 1080p. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I'm showing a good, solid uh, 7K upload bitrate and zero drop frames, so I'm not really, I'm not sure. A barricade is under attack. I'm gonna end up losing barricades to all these, uh, all these archers, I think. Uh, the bitrate is what you choose when you upload to YouTube or Twitch or wherever you're streaming to. It's based off of your upload speed. No chance of that. Shoot. Ran out of juice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is this going to turn into a big fail here? I mean, it's possible, right? Go out a little further. Let's get a little more of this. We can get one of those there. We do we have we got flyers now. Actually, that's all we have is flyers. I didn't put anything in for the flyers. I'm gonna try to handle the first wave of flyers by myself. This is one that's just really good for those saw blade launchers. Man, I only got 16 rift points left. All right, do we want to add? I don't really, I didn't really bring anything for flyers. What the hell was I thinking, huh? <laughs> I did bring crap for flyers. Flyers, more enemies on the way. I'm basically going to have to just kill the flyers manual the whole time. That sounded like a knoll. Ooh, yeah, it was. Oh, no. Those dynamite archers are vicious. All right, I got one of them. Oh, wow, they were pushing all the way through. Ooh, 
Uh, the part time is duffed. Oof. Wow. That was rough stuff. What's going on there, Rebel Jake? Uh, Chromatic doesn't give dates, y'all. I, I don't know. I have no idea. No one knows. So, it's not happening today. It might not happen tomorrow. It may not happen the next day. We don't know. I mean, we've been waiting three years. So... A few more days is not the end of the world. A barricade, they've destroyed oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. In bad barricade placement, I just lost. I'm just going to have to do, do this one over. I mean, it'll allow me to pick a better loadout. I didn't, I didn't pick a loadout at all. I mean, can I just get through it? I don't even think I can get through it. Yeah, it's over. Let's, uh, let's get something in for flyers. Because that was just a big old face palm right there. Um, so... Hey, we're not using this anymore, so we can get those skulls back. That's 19 skulls there. We're not using this currently, so let's take that as well. And then let's get, um... Let's try out the saw blade launchers here. Where are they? There we go. We'll take the increased projectile duration, and we'll use those on the flyers. Um, I think that will be pretty good. Let's go ahead and retry it, and we'll uh, we'll take that saw blade launcher this time. That bad barricade that deplacement completely completely screwed yes. me there at the end. More to kill. Let's see. So and you will see we know we want that. Love it when this is all over. Maybe she doesn't love it. Yeah, there was an issue with Stadia. The game got really, really choppy. Let's see. Let's go. Pretty happy with that. Hey, you know what? I should have upgraded that brimstone, too. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get that brimstone upgraded, too, with the rest of those skulls. I got nine skulls. I can increase charges, reduce the cooldown. I mean, I feel like increasing charges would be good. Actually, we can go, we'll go one increased charges and then one reduced cooldown. Let's see, uh, see how that treats us here. Wow, that was good for knocking the rust off. Gabs, point me towards more things to kill. She loves it when I call her that. And you will see just how much I love it when this is all over. All right. She doesn't love it that much. And we get that big push. This one, that nine-minute part-time is tough. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. They've broken through a gate. Now. Get that ogre dead anyway. Taking a lot of damage here from these archers too. Damn it. This is going to be a lot of catch up here. Well, I mean, OMD3 is not really going to need starter guides. It's 
it's more of a just jump in and play it sort of game. Um, it's not a grind game, you know, so it's not like uh, Dungeon Defenders games. All right, let's see. Go with that. Is that going to reach? I don't even think that's going to reach, is it? It doesn't look like that's even going to reach. We can get one of these ogres gone right up front, or even both. Well, there's a third coming. Oh no! Well, I didn't duff the placement on that one at least. That's a plus. Still just taking mad, mad damage here. Never find those Knoll's biscuits. <laughs> Whew. I'm gonna have to go back to the core, I think, and get some uh, healing in here. But yeah, I'll be doing like, um, you know, guides as far as like things I personally suggest you unlock first, stuff like that. But, I mean, that's just all... It comes all down into opinion. You know? It's the beauty of Orcs Must Die games, is there's no grind. I mean, there is grind, but it's not grind like most people that watch this channel are used to grind. You know? This never gets old. I should have somebody to do this for. Hello, old trap buddy. Oh, yeah. Right, I think that's all we got. Now, the saw blade launchers should help me out quite a bit against the flyers. We'll have to see, though. We will have to see. Uh, it's two player co op. Try to get those archers down in advance. There's a lot of them though. Holy crap, man. They're breaking through. Watch out. Our enemies have broken through again. Here they come. See if we can get rid of that guy. Man, mad, mad archers here, huh? Oof. They're entering the rift. And that's the downside of building right on top of the rift. You get pushed, you're basically screwed. Ooh, a trap reset trinket would have been nice too. I didn't even think about that. But I don't have that unlocked yet either. Wow. Oof, my god, that is brutal. Alright. So this is what we want to do with the saw blade launchers. How do we want them launching? Not like that, I don't think. What about this one? Hmm. That's not as bad. Get some saw blades flying here, though. Right there. Let's 
I mean, that should make, that should really, really help me with those flyers. That works. Let's throw another one of those up front, uh, just to get ready for the next wave here. More enemies on the way. Flyers incoming. I didn't know, watch these things go when the flyers get there. They're just a thing of beauty. <laughs> one snuck through. Just absolutely gorgeous. You of them are sneaking through, huh? All right, what can we do? Let's go uh, further down, further out here. We'll get another window up. I'm gonna save that mana potion. Flyers, more enemies on the way. Let's see if I can't get these dynamite archers down. I can't even hit the damn guy. All right, I got two of them down. Wrecked. Oh, oh, shit! I wasn't watching the flyers. Close call there, too. Drop that there for a minute. See if we can't get these dynamite archers dealt with. Alright, that guy's just coming through, right? There ain't nothing I'm going to be able to do about that, I don't think. I'm looking at the health bar, man. I'm looking at the health bar. <laughs> Do they have any bigger ones? Oof. That got the blood bar. All right, that was super sketch, right? See, I need to save a little bit just in case I have another emergency barricade derp. Look out! Because these are pretty the low. I feel like the saw blade launchers aren't helping me as much um, with them not being upgraded. Sappers. Shoot, we got one more sapper. Or two more. Yeah, I think we got... Or no, there's more sappers. Or are those... We only have half our rift points remaining. Super, super sketch here. Holy crap, man. They're attacking a barricade. Oh no. Don't blow up. They've destroyed a barricade. All right, that was so lucky having that mana potion drop right there. They're attacking a barricade. Well, it looks like we're going to get the completion. It's not pretty. But we'll definitely have the completion anyway. So it's going to be a two or a three skull win 
Which, you know, it's better than a loss. Nah, it's a different game on Steam. Six more skulls. Well, let's see. Let's get back down to our stone staff. Let's go reduce his mana cost even more. Now, I'm pretty happy with how my stone staff is sitting. Yeah, well, I mean, it's new traps and stuff, you know, so you're not going to be playing through the same way you would have on Stadia. I mean, you can if you choose to, but there is different uh, different traps and stuff. All right, what do we got here? We got a war scenario. Reporting that a much larger army is headed toward the rift in this fortress. Oh, wow. That got baddies coming like through here. Concern. My concern will always We're going to have flyers coming right through the mid. The like I said, almost. Now, is there a way? It looks like there is a way to channel these bads to one lane, perhaps, right? Let me see. These guys come in. We force them this way. Hmm, how do I want to do it? This one's a tough call here. This is uh, part of the DS DL, DLC. Uh, it hasn't been delayed. No, they said Wednesday or Thursday. It's not even Thursday yet. So... No, at the moment, there's been no delay, but just play something else, man. It's been three years in the making, you know? Okay, so if we blocked this and this, that would force everything up here, but there's a lot of cross places. I don't feel like that's the way to go. I feel like the way to go is to block these two and force everything down through this middle. And then that will allow me to... to cope with the flyers here as well. All right, now for wave one, we've only got this one one lane. And it, the wall blade launchers are not going to be spectacular here. Uh, for that, so I'm actually feeling like regular old arrow walls might do better. Yeah, new PoE. There's a lot hitting Friday. Orcs Must Die 3 launches Friday. A new Path of Exile League. A new Diablo 3 season. There's so much to do Friday. It's like, don't even think about sleeping Friday, <laughs> you know? Hmm, what do I want to do? I don't have any upgrades on these area walls. I don't feel like that's going to be a good choice here, though. Now these, the deep freeze, will freeze the flyers and insta-kill them, but... I guess there's a few places to put them. I don't know, let's get things blocked off first, so... If we block that, these guys have to go this way, right? And then we want to block the stairs as well. Through the trap field. Okay, now over here, if we block this, it's that forces no those ready. guys this way, and then we'll block the stairs as well. And then that, that should put all of the ground enemies going through here, which that's a nice big killing zone, right? But what do I want? I got such mixed mixed emotions here on what to take. I mean, I feel like the, the deep freeze is going to instant kill him. So I feel like that's just a good choice. You know what? Let's bring along the acid geyser. Because I don't, I think I still need some unlocks on it as well. And then we'll go... 
found a good spot. We'll kind of offset them a little bit. We'll just go like that to start. Go, go, go. And for wave one, I'm just going to have to take these flyers down. Flyers That's all we've got is flyers. Now, I remember, too, this is a war scenario, so we're probably going to have all kinds of flyers. So the frosty flyers will be immune to that freeze. Assuming we get some, which I'm sure we probably will here. I don't remember. But, I mean, we've got bile bats, and we've got the hell bats already. I don't remember, to be honest with you, Piprod. I only played through this one once, so I, I'm assuming it's going to be a flyer boss. Uh, because this whole DLC is really all about flyers. But I don't know. That's a complete guess. Alright, there's the frost bats. They dropping skulls for me. That's nice of them. It's hard to hit their little heads, but flyers can be headshot as well. Go! Oh, don't freeze me, bro. Ooh, and then void bats. We got the whole uh, the whole array of flyers here. Oof. All right, so what do we got? We got 8,800. Oh, shoot. You know, I never bought brought a spike wall with me. That would have been huge. Hello, old trap buddy. I like it when the orcs just walk straight into that. Let's see, let's go. Okay, we got that one offset. I mean, we can get some freeze going down here as well. This never gets Let's old. drop that there. We'll drop a scorcher here. This is pretty sketchy for a war scenario wave. So it's just going to be this lane, uh, this wave. Yep. Roll on. Like deodorant. More enemies Hopefully I'm able to handle this. I might want to just actually try to get some upfront killing in. Yeah, this is, the DLC is included with the Steam release uh, for free. It's part of the part of the deal. All right, let's just let them on in. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. Oh shoot! There's flyers here too. Oh no! I didn't set up for flyers. Where are they going to come through? I didn't realize there was going to be flyers here too. Broken through a gate. Not all of them. No. The magic Out of juice. Right this is gonna be bad here, y'all. I got it. One flyer. I mean, I got a long way, a long pathway to deal with these guys, but I was not counting on any flyers there. <laughs> Shoot, there's more of them. Oh, they are there. Those flyers I can't get. The ones behind me. 
This is a uh, this is a tough one. I completely forgot about the side flyers. That just kind of screwed it right there. Enemies at the rift. Is that it? Ow. Yeah. Wow, man. These guys are the real deal. Is that it for flyers? Thank God the stone staff pierces, huh? Dynamite archers, oh, oh joy. There are enemies <laughs> in wow. All right, that was a beat down and a half. Hey, we did it. All right, now we're going to have it from both sides. Um, and the flyers looked like they were coming through here. Yeah, Wanderbot did some... Um, he did some OMD3 yesterday as well. He got uh, access to it. And I hate to be spending that much, but I kind of have to. I got 7,200 here. I need to jack this area up a little bit more. Traps, 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 traps. All right, that leaves me 2,600. OMD3 is a completely different type of game. But yeah, the gear is very interesting. The difference is, in Dungeon Defenders, gear doesn't change how you play. Like, you change a piece of gear, all that means is you got bigger numbers. You know, it doesn't change the defense. Uh, upgrades in Orcs Must Die actually change how you play the game. Um, so, in that regard, they're the the unlocks are much, much more important. More enemies on the way. Hey, we're gonna have flyers too. This is pretty sketch right here. I still got I got 34 end. left there, right? There's a lot of points players. left. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. Okay, the flyers are coming from down here. I feel like I should have brought arrow walls as well. They've broken through a gate. That way I'd get the instant kill um, from the freeze. Here they come. Wow, that didn't bring hardly any of them, huh? Luckily, I can wipe them all out with one pass of the stone staff there. Not frost bats, though. There we go. Shoot, the frost bats freeze me. Yeah, this is just bad. Enemies at the rift. This is just bad. Just get what we can. No, we're not going to get them all, right? They're almost there. There are enemies in our rift room. Enemies at the rift. Wow, man. There are enemies in our rift room. Drop that there for the moment. Oof. Enemies at the rift. 
Dang, man, this is brutal. Oh, shoot, there's more flyers still. And somehow they still froze me. There are enemies in our rift room. Good workout. They're almost there. We'll let that one pass. Enemies at the rift. Oh, oh. More enemies in the rift. Score? Oof, my sure. God. Just pure brutality here. All right, what do we want to do? Now, they're coming through here. A grinder's not going to reach, is it? If it doesn't feel like a grinder is going to reach them. I mean, I'm going to try it, though. Well, this is a war scenario, is why. Um, war scenarios are much larger maps with uh, massive, massive amounts of bads. All right, I think that's the best we can do. We got 28 rift points left. This one's going to be a little sketchy, whether or not I can make it. I'm curious if these grinders, in fact, I want to watch it when the flyers come in flyers and see. Incoming. Hopefully these grinders are hitting. If so, I'll put a couple more grinders up, too. They're going basically right down the middle. All right, the grinders, the grinders didn't look like they were doing anything. Oh, no, it actually did. The grinder hit it. Nice. All right. So the grinders are a go. Oh, shit, man. Null. Nulls are coming. For a split second, I thought about maybe possibly getting a win. They're almost there. There are enemies in our rift room. Seen that coming. Oof. Enemies at the rift. I'm in trouble. Just not going to be able to get it. Yeah. Fail build is fail. Alright, we got to do something different. Now, I'm thinking grinders might be the way to go for the sides. The side flyers. And then uh, trap reset trinket, too. I'm trying to hold them back. Do they have any bigger ones? Uh, well, I mean, flyers add to the difficulty. You know, Orcs Must Die is not a game. It's a game you have to practice to beat, uh, particularly on the hardest game modes. You're just not going to beat. You know, you're not going to five skull Rift Lord maps on your first try, um, you know, until you get a little practice in. Now, this DLC is just quite challenging, but yeah, it adds to the overall difficulty. There are enemies in our rift room. Our rift is failing. Yeah, it is. Oh, shoot. Out of juice. Wow, so close. They're almost there. Who's got man of this bear? There are 
enemies in our rift room. Oof, my god. Holy shit. Um, it's DLC from uh, Stadia. Alright, let's get rid of this. Let's go grinders instead. Let's do the same thing over here, and hopefully... That's going to deal with these side flyers. It should at least take down quite a few of them. I mean, it's not going to deal with all of them. Let me see over here. There's just no way grinders are going to make it here, though. I feel like arrow walls would have been uh, really powerful. Or, or not necessarily powerful, but a nice addition. That's right. I'm war major Riffic. I should have somebody to do this for. Like that, and then that will give me a little bit more to spend down here. Traps go up, orcs go down. Traps, 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 traps. Hmm. Doesn't want me to put a trap right there. Floor traps have to go on the floor. There it goes. Very, very weird. Very, very weird. All right, now there's a little bit more there. Actually, I think I might be better off with another window of butterflies. Let's see if I that now? makes a difference. I think grinders are going to be the way more there. Enemies on the way. Well, now here I'm fishing for combos to get more coin. So I got plenty of hallway to go. The problem with doing a maze type zigzag type kill box is you lose all your combo opportunities. Look out, flyers! You're not all of it, obviously, but you lose a lot of it. That should. I'm hoping that's gonna hand because just completely handle the side flyers. Shower, what's going on? How you doing? And that's gonna allow me to focus here a little bit more, assuming that actually does kill the flyers. We're just gonna have to watch it on the mini map here and see. Flyers incoming! Ooh, ooh, well, didn't kill those. <laughs> oh, it's a separate entrance. I didn't realize there was two entrances. God dang it, man. Flyers in the air. Let me get this going up here. Possibly getting a wee bit concerned. Too cold for school. Got some no grenadiers. We got more flyers. These grenadiers, I can never find their heads. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be dead. Oh man, and there's more gnolls coming. Holy crap! Okay, that was fun. Enemies at the rift. Big oofs here. Big, big, big oofs. There are enemies in our rift room. Stop them quickly. Oh, that got the blood pumping. The magic's not really flowing right now. Yeah, I'm screwed. I only got four rift points left. This one's a big old fail. All right, so I'm going to go grinders the on the sides. Um, on the hype train to OMD3. That's fair. I'm gonna go grinders on those sides, and I gotta remember there's two different openings where I only saw one. But let's see. I think I wanna bring arrow walls. I think the freeze is nice. I've only got one skull. I'm gonna to have to refund something I'm not using. I need to get more points into my uh see I don't have any points into that deep freeze or the floor scorcher I just need skulls bad this gravity pillar I'm not gonna use so let's take that back there's six 
The longbow I'm not using, so let's take that back. That's a bunch more. The saw blade launcher we're not using here, so let's go ahead and refund that one. The spike wall we're not using. This should open up quite a bit here. Uh, floor spikes we're not using. There's 90 skulls right there. All right, so arrow walls. Let's increase the damage. Let's have it pierce enemies. Instead, we don't want it dealing fire damage because there's going to be fire immune enemies. But on that same note, hmm, yeah, let's just have them. Let's have them pierce. Uh, the brimstone. Let's get it upgraded. We can actually have it dealing arcane damage. Um, the auto ballista I got mixed emotions on. Let me see if I got my grinder squared away. Increases the active time. Yep, it's all set. We got nothing into the floor scorcher. Let's increase the range there. And we were using this acid sprayer too. Reduce cooldown. We don't have enough to do one of the unique upgrades, so we'll just pass on that. But let's hop back in and give us one a try here. It is a tough map. This is a tough map for sure. Max, other war mages are reporting that a much larger army is headed toward the rift. All right, do we want to go ahead and set the? Oh wow, that almost sounds like legitimate concern. Let's go ahead and My set this up. Will always be for the order and protecting the young apprentices. That way we know our ground lane is at least pathed, right? Pretty happy with that. All right. Now, what do we want to do here? I feel like we want to, we only got 2,400 left. So this first wave, we're just going to have to kill him. But I kind of want to go like that and then put arrow walls. Oh, I never took the arrow walls. Well, we better snag those. We can get rid of that and take arrow walls. And then I want to put arrow walls over on this side. Oops, need more coins. Oh yeah, good to go. The more time I can actually we'll put into the kill box players. without having to deal with the flyers, the better off I'm gonna be. You know? Trying to get him in his little head. It's a tiny little head, though. It's hard to hit. I mean, even if I just didn't have to worry about the side flyers and I could focus on these flyers in the kill box, I think I would be in way better shape. Most of these guys are one-shot kills on the headshots, but it's just really difficult to headshot them with the stone staff. All right, there we go. So now they're coming through this lane, right? Which doesn't give us anything. I think I'm gonna... Hmm. Are they only coming through here? Please tell me they're only gonna come through the one entrance. Nah, they're gonna come through more than one. 
All right, let's go. Well, I mean, we got no choice but to do this. Found a good spot. But that is all of my DU. I can't do that, right? I gotta put something here. I can't just not have a kill box at all, right? Through the trap field. I guess let's go with this, and we're just gonna have to manual kill everything. I'm gonna hope that that holds the flyers. I mean, I could have sold this stuff. Let me get some shots in on those flyers here. Of course, the flyers aren't going to come out up front. Flyers in the air. Or, eh, that's not too bad. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. I think I needed to sell that other one. I think that was the right way to go. No, the big traps are worth using, um, but come. this particular map, I just find it's a lot easier to um, to not use those. To just build inside here. But some of the maps you can completely clear. Some of the war scenarios you can completely clear them using the war machines. far from pretty but that was a step up <laughs> give me that skull please thank you very much yeah there's character specific weapons uh, as you're playing through the campaign that you are forced to use but I've cleared the base campaign once you clear the base campaign it unlocks so you can use whatever you want was way better I'm keyboard and mouse personally uh, I am gonna play the game on uh, Xbox hopefully Xbox and PlayStation though so it will be an experience but I'm a keyboard and mouse player and I I can't hit the side of a barn with a controller <laughs> I have like the worst aim in the entire world when it comes to a controller it's bad Let's see. I feel like we really need to go into this area more. Right there. It's bad, bad. <laughs> you know what? I can alternate Let's these. Traps go up. All right. Well, we're building it out a little bit here. Now, so far so good on the grinders. I'm gonna need to keep keep adding to it. More enemies on the way. Contra this is me aiming with a controller. Like, say I'm aiming at the the little glowy there. 
it's like overcompensate, 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 overcompensate. It's just, it's bad. But I mean, we all play with what we're used to, you know? Back in the day, I used to always play with a controller. And then it was like normal. But now, now it's just awful. I've been playing keyboard and mouse for way too many years. In fact, I'm constantly, it's kind of bad. Like on the PlayStation and Xbox, I'm always looking for ways to try to use a keyboard and mouse on those instead of just getting good, right? And quit being such a damn nub and practice with the controller a little bit. Get good, nub. All right, now the benefit of me fighting up here is not only thinning this pack out sooner, but I'm going to get a lot more combos, which means a lot more gold, which means a lot more traps. So... Oh, no, out of juice. There we go. We got one last minute. Last minute juicing. Oh, shit. What made it through? I don't even know what made it through. It had to have been a loose flyer, huh? Another round of grinders, I think, will answer that. Ooh, ooh. Here we go. Oh, yeah, they're really low. Well, that one was, anyway. I think a few more grinders up top, and I'm good. We got more flyers coming here. Are they gonna get wrecked? Ooh, got one of them. Not feeling so hot. Where's your head at? Oh, wrecked. I'm gonna say, where's your head at, Mr. Ogre? I know you got a head in there somewhere. The stone staff gives me the ability to handle so many mobs down this big long corridor too. Because of that pierce, you know. Uh, the poison trap seems pretty good. I'm still going through and getting unlocks done uh, now. Shower, I have yet to do scramble mode. Um, it looks like it's going to be quite challenging. Shoot. Fail jump. Ooh, thank you. Thank you there, little skull. Speaking of unlocks. All right. Now that should really put a hurting on these side flyers, right? That only leaves me 1600 to add to the kill box here, but... Let's go... Brimstone and another window here. Alright, so we got no middle lane flyers. So that, this lane, I should be able to really rack up some combos. You know, the best game, it's dead now, but the best PvP tower defense game, in my opinion, was Tower Wars. It's an old, old game, and it's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's dead now. Um, because it, it was older. But the problem is, is you've got a really small genre of game. And then the people who would be interested in PvP in that genre are even smaller altogether. Ooh, there's a skull over that rail right there. You guys see that? Yeah, I mean, Warcraft 3 Reforge mods are always a uh, absolutely wonderful choice, right? I mean, Warcraft 3, just the, you know, it's it's created by the community, the mods are. This, it's just, it's kind of tough to compete with community created stuff. Because it's what players want. Because they're players, you know. Holy cow! I'm setting records here. Okay, that was fun. 
Uh-oh. Do they have any bigger ones? Well, shit, this turned into a beating, huh? And here I thought I was going to be just chilling up there at the kill box the whole time. <laughs> Denied. But yeah, Tower Wars was super duper fun. And it actually had a decent sized community way, way back in the day. But that was a long, long time ago, you know? Can't find his head. Should have just switched to the other orc or ogre, but. Right, it looks like the grinders did pretty good. Legion TD2 has pretty good reviews. I actually have it, but I haven't really put any time into it. The thing with me is when I play a PvP game, I want to shoot people. It. It, you know? So I, I personally am not... Uh, I'm sure there's other games out there that are decent, that are PvP type games, but I just, when I PvP, I want to shoot people. <laughs> what can you say? Sometimes you just want to shoot fools, right? <laughs> Tiptoe through the trap field. All right, we got this built out way better than we've had it the entire time. So maybe we can add on a little bit more uh, flyer, flyer stuffs up here. That leaves me 1,400 still. Ooh, we got all this crap, too. Let's go one, one more grinder on each... That each works. side here. And then, what does that do me down here? I'm actually filling up quite nicely down here. Uh, let's just go with this. Yeah, it's getting close. It's getting close. It's for sure. You got that Bloons TD Battles 2 coming out. The problem, now I don't know, so I can't say personally, but when, like, when I ask viewers about um, the Bloons TD, the, the Versus games, Bloons TD Battles. Everybody tells me it's pay to win. Uh, you can do that, but I just don't want to. I mean, I got other traps for that slot. So I'm trying to get as many combos as possible so I can get generate as much coin as possible. Um, Look out, flyers! Yeah, everybody tells me that Bloons TD Battles is pay to win. And like I said, I don't know because I've never played it. But that's what people tell me. Do this just in case that front barricade gets wrecked. For a split second, I thought about maybe possibly getting clean up on our five. Ooh, I saw another skull drop out there. Yeah, well, the physic aspect of it. Uh, knocked up and knocked down are both combos, so... 
it would count for a combo, but it, I would... When you start throwing enemies around, your physics have to be in order. Because if you start knocking enemies around, you end up knocking enemies out of your kill box. And that's 100% not what I want. So, like, this is a very organized kill box, whether I'm there or if I'm not there. It technically should ge be generating the same quality of combo. Or close to it, minus my weapons, of course. Oh no! Liared. Liared in the face. That one got out. I guess uh, the grinders aren't getting it. I mean, well, those flyers may have came through the middle. Alright. Um, it's like Dungeon Defenders in the aspect of it's an action defense game. That's about the only similarity, though. going on there pampas yeah combos um combos will drop off after a portion of time and they will stay longer if the enemy is in a knocked up state so either knocked on the ground or flying through the air found a good spot Right. Hopefully this completely melts everything this never gets old. through those sides, and I won't have to think about it at all. Now, what do I do here? I know I'm getting pushed. I know I'm getting pushed by flyers, too. Right there. Skull up there. Skull. I saw a skull drop out here, but. Or there's a skull up top. Yeah, there is. Over on the other side. It's green. You see him on the mini map. It's green. I'm just. Uh... You end up getting so many skulls, you stop thinking about the skulls. <laughs> Funny enough, as that may be. All right, we got 1,800 left. I feel like um, just leaving some of this arrow wall spam in here just because I know I'm going to get pushed. Let's do it. Now, I'm not sure on the boss on this one. I just literally do not remember. Um, I'm assuming it's a flyer boss, but I don't remember at all. Nothing coming yet. I'm spraying away, and there's nothing coming out. Flyers. Yeah, it's side flyers. Here comes a uh, two knolls. I think I'm gonna just back it up here and deal with these knolls. If I can find their heads, for God's sakes. Flyers incoming! It's that! You guys saw that, right? Look out! Flyers! We can give a little assist on these. Good workout. 
The barricade is down. That got the blood barricade is down. Where? Oh no! What? Thank God I had some backup coin, huh? Okay, Chromatica, it is a flyer. Coming from where? Oh, straight down the mid. For a split second, I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned. Wow, that was a big... I'm not going to be able to stone a boss, right? No, okay, I was going to say, that would be a little bit over the top. I don't think I'm going to get uh, Chromatica or either of these armored ogres for that matter. Just let them go. Yeah, Chromatica is out. Let's just see if we can get through the get through the remainder. Yeah, it is. Shoot, man. So close. Oof, jeez. That one's a challenge. Well, obviously not today, Pampas. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. I don't work there, so I have no clue. They don't tell me anything. Ten skulls on that one. What can we throw those ten into? Well, I don't even know what we want to take on the next map. Let's go look at the next map first. That was rough, huh? Order Enclave. This one, I think, is the one where the blades so just destroy really the flyer lanes. Let me look around there. Bokery, but nah, maybe it's not. Armies using our rifts to move around? I'm not entirely sure it is order rifts they are using. But if we find out, it may require fairly drastic steps to get answers. Eh, steep stairs don't really scare me that much. It will require fairly drastic steps to get answers. And hence the name of the DLC. I don't remember this map at all. I mean, I know I played it. Okay, we got a spawner here. I'm trying to think of the pathing. How do we want to path them? Well, we got a lovely little kill box area right here, but what about these would not have anywhere else to go, huh? Is there no other hallway? Yeah. Hmm. I think we may just have to, uh, to do separate kill boxes on this one, perhaps. We got, what, four ground spawners? We got one here. We got the one that's opening right now. Right there. Then what about this other lane? Or it's straight down. Or no, it's back over here. Yeah, I think we may end up having to go with just different kill boxes here on this one. What we'll to see? We got 14 minutes, seven waves, 20 rift points. This is a better area here. Do I want to go with the same loadout? I don't have anything for the ceiling. Let's see. What can we get rid of? I think we got, I was looking for more unlocks on this, so I think we can get rid of that now. Hmm. 
Man, I don't even have any ceiling traps. All I've got is this. I think I'm going to go back out and buy a ceiling trap here. Let's see. We've got 15 skulls. I can always go into the gravity pillar. You know what? Let's just do that. Let's just go into the gravity pillar a little. Maybe. See, so we can reduce the cooldown. We can have it deal physical damage. Let's, uh... Let's have it deal some physical damage, too. Yeah, there's quite a few changes, uh, Dominic. I'm going to be putting a video out um, Friday going over some of the changes. But there's new traps. Um, there's new stuff. There's a new game mode. And there's more coming. There's some cool stuff. This snow cannon is kind of cool. I was playing around with that a little bit last night just to get a feel for it. Yes. That's what I meant. What did we want to bring? We wanted to bring that. Uh, performance has been flawless for me. Um, You can only use it on war scenarios, Shimer. You can uh, take that upgrade and put it inside, but I, to, to be honest with you, I don't think there's a single instance where you're going to want to do that. I mean, maybe in the future, as we know, there will be more more maps and DLC and everything coming. All right, let's see. Let's just go right in here for the start. I should have somebody to do this for me. Well, looks like that's all we get. Let's rumble. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. How are the flyers going to come through? They're just going to come right through. Here they come. Look out, flyers! Guys are way up there, huh? Is that it? Nope. Pretty happy with that. They're almost there. Almost there. Oh shit. God dang it, man. I am just duffing it on flyers like crazy here. I know this is a flyer DLC too. Still continuing on this wave. We got nothing for flyers in. More enemies on the way. I feel like the grinders will take care of those. have to go back and kill these flyers. Do they, have any bigger ones? they should be right above me here. flyer where's it at is there a stuck flyer oh there is I see it I see his little head 
There we go. <laughs> All right, so this side is going to stay. And this side is going to open up. Now, I could have blocked that and had kind of a more open killing area right here. Which isn't necessarily a terrible idea. I think I want to do that. Give myself one... one spot, you know? So yeah, if we block this... The flyers are still going to come through. So I'm going to have to watch those, but the ground mobs won't. Where are the flyers going to go? Actually, the flyers are going to fly over to the middle and then down, it looks like. Yeah, so we might be good there, too. All right, this is going to be a little bit sketch. This is not what I had in mind here when I was first starting. These actually have increased range. Well, it's still only three tiles. I thought it took the increased range upgrade. I guess not. Traps go up. Orcs go hmm. down. I don't feel like I've got the right loadout for something like this. Found a good spot. I hate to go back to back on the brimstone like that. Well, let's just do it. That leaves me 1300. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's do this instead. And then that leaves me 1600. What could I do? What could I do? Well, I mean, I could go with two more brimstone. I could go something like that. Let's do that. This might get really sketchy really quick. I hate doing this, uh, building right on the core like that, or right on the rift, but... It's going to make dealing with the flyers a lot easier, though, because I'm going to be able to petrify the ground mobs while I'm dealing with the flyers, too, you know? Enemies are attacking on another front! Ah, watch out! Our enemies have broken through again! Flyers right, where are you at? Oop, there you are. Dude snuck out, huh? <laughs> All right, that's interesting. A little bugged uh, graphic there or something. But it's also interesting to see that um, that I think those gravity pillars are working against flyers. I can't tell. I'm going to take a closer look here. Wrecked, am I going to respawn quick enough? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, let's see. All right, they're not reset yet. Yeah, it is. It's doing damage to the flyers. All right, all right. Looks like we spamming gravity pillars, huh? More importantly, it was CCing him as well. I mean, even though it was just a slow burn. Alright, let's uh let's do it. 
Because this is going to hit the ground mobs too, and that's just a win. That works. This never gets old. 500 left. Can't really do anything with it. Yep. Roll on. Like the other. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! What am I doing? Oh my god! I just duffed that one so hard. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to this damn door. I'm in so trouble, so much trouble. I mean, this is a straight up do over right there now. <laughs> I didn't even look at the new door at all. Straight up ass hattery. I went for a cruise too. There, Mellow. I was right there with you cruising. <laughs> That Cyclops mage is going to just own me here. Oh, man. Such a fail here, huh? Yep. I'm way too close to the rift. Here's Mr. Mage Delicious. All right, that could have went worse, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> All right, we better do something down here, huh? I mean, that's something anyway. Far from ideal, Look but that's a start. Flyers. This actually CC'd this lane pretty well. Come on now. Ugh. I got two more gnolls. I can get this ogre. your head dude I swear that looks like his head all right Oof, Jesus good Lord yeah this is the DLC I'm on the fourth I think this is the fourth of five maps. I think. Let's see if we can't get this wrecked. To do this Go something like that. And hopefully that's going to clear the side, or at least come close to clearing the side. That way I can just focus all my energy right here.
All right, we got kobolds. Oh no! Ooh! Wow! That was way close. Oof! Enemies at the rift. Our time's out on this one, that's for sure. For second, it's getting these ogres down, really just not all really the big, way. Sir. That was super sketch on that kobold, too. I haven't even scratched the surface though. I, I'm trying before I. The reason I haven't done scramble mode yet is I've been trying to unlock more stuff. You know. There are enemies in our rift room. Enemies in our rift room. What? Oh no! God dang it! This is bad, huh? Enemies at the rift. I'm just gonna lose these guys and that fire lord. I don't want the fire lord blowing up my barricade, so I'm just gonna let it let it go. All right, big oofs, big big oofs. There's a little bit something something else there. Hello, More friend, enemies buddy. on the way. Flyers in. Let's do that. What do we want to do here? I can get one more uh, pillar. It's weird they get petrified in the air. Make me use don't make me use it. Don't make me use it. There are enemies in our rift room. Oh shit. Or it's the just gnolls. They're almost there. Get this knoll down here. Can't find his head. The rift has been compromised. Yeah. Like a mofo. It's all right. Better me than the barricade, right? One more. There we go. I gotta kill these firelings. This is a tough one, especially not having everything upgraded, you know? You get some upgrades in it, I think it will be uh, a lot lot smoother experience, but... This is gonna be a two skull, huh? Or will it only be one? It might only be one. Or it might be zero if I don't... <laughs> See if I can find this guy's head. They're almost there. Is that it? Um. Wow. That was a beat down, huh? Woo! Is it one or two? One skull win. Oof. Luckily, I got some bonus skulls out of the deal, huh? Damn. All right, so we're up to 10. Um, where do we want to go with it? Well, I mean, let's take a look at the next map. This should be the last one of the DLC, I think. Yeah, the slag field.
Let's see Max, here. I'm getting more concerned with the size of these orc armies. I find it's not really the size of the army that counts, but more about how orcs blow into little pieces. You know, this is the well, one. Have been is this the one? Mess. Seriously, however, keep your eyes peeled for what or who might be the cause of this sudden organization of the orcs. The order may depend on it. This one. Well, you certainly know a lot Man, I could have swore. Orcs. Ugh. This was the one for the really, really good with the blade launchers on the flyers, but it looks like it may not be. Let's see, so we got one spawner here. And that one's got a really long path, but is there anywhere else? There's nowhere else I can branch it off to. So that's going to have to be its own kill box. Uh, the middle is flyers. And then we've got another spawner over here. That one's a really long path as well. I'm feeling like auto ballistas might be the way to go on this one. Hmm. Actually, okay, this one's going to come down... And across here. Now the good thing about these gravity pillars is they've got unlimited range. So I think that is a bit of a no-brainer for here. Because it's going to deal with the ground lane and the flying lane. I like it. Let's, uh, let's get started here. Look out, flyers! Or the ceiling lasers. That's another thought. Ceiling lasers are so good versus flyers. And they will hit the ground lanes as well. I guess we'll have to see how it goes. If it goes well with the gravity pillars, we'll, you know, obviously we'll... Not do a not have a do over. All right. Now there's not another crossover, is there? Yeah, there is here. What's going on there, Murphy? How you doing? I feel like it might be a missed opportunity here on these, uh... On the not using lasers here. I mean, these are doing okay. But I do feel like it's a little bit of a missed opportunity. I feel like relying on my least favorite trap in the game is probably not a great idea either. <laughs> Oof. When am I not ready? All right, well, let's just deal with flyers first. The and then we'll worry about the ground lane. Flyers in the air. Enemies are attacking on another front. I feel like bringing the crossbow may have been a good idea on this map where I can zoom in and get them headshots going. What's going on, Delanter? How you doing, man?
All right. There's one more flyer. There, no, there's more than one, huh? We got... Oh, no. Oh, no. comes the null no figures. I don't have any. I don't have any mana. Looks like we got a skull or a coin over here. Uh, just a coin. Ceiling lasers, man. Ceiling lasers were my missed opportunity on this one. You're tired? No reason to be tired? Well, I mean, sometimes you're just tired, man. You know? Yeah, ceiling lasers, huge missed opportunity. The other thing is these gravity pillars are not doing anything to, um... I mean, they're doing a tickle damage to the trolls and ogres, but they're not doing much. And ceiling lasers are 100% uptime as well. I mean, I almost feel like it's a waste of time to even continue. Like, I should just start over. It, it's just, it was a bad play, you More know? Enemies in the rift. <sighs> Can't find his head. There we go. Oof, good lord, man. Yeah, I still need to watch for the electric bats, but I mean, at least it would th um, thin the herd a little bit or at least do a little damage to these other mobs, you know? Traps go up, orcs go down. All right, let me do this. It's just so pretty. And I feel like it would be more effective damage. The gravity pillars are are nice and all, but you know, they're just gravity pillars. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little biased. I clearly don't like that trap. <laughs> as far as the new traps that hit the game in OMD3, it's without question my least favorite. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna get handled, because I don't have everything unlocked yet. Scramble mode is something you ideally want to do uh, once you get everything unlocked, I feel like. But I'll definitely try it. I got no problem with getting my ass kicked on stream. It's been happening for years. <laughs> are preparing to breach one of our gates. They've broken through a gate. That was me that did that thing there. Here they come. That Null's gonna take a minute to get to me at least. Actually, it looks like the gravity pillars got him. 
I am beyond screwed here. That armored ogre I'm just going to let in. There's just no way I'm going to be able to burn that. Remaining. Get with this guy real quick. I'm trying. I'm trying. They just gonna have to go. No. Nope. Fail. Yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna ditch the ceiling lasers and go with gravity, or ditch the gravity pillars and go with ceiling lasers. Let's see. What can we get back? That gives us 21. Now, the ceiling lasers, we don't want fire damage. We want the additional... Um... Oh, shit. I'm not even going to be able to use it yet. I'm not going to be able to get the additional lasers because I don't have them... Let's see. Let's see if we can't scratch something else. Hmm. I mean, the floor scorchers we're not using on this one. And then, you know, there's always the, uh, the ice amulet, amulet too. Uh, well, the game doesn't launch until, to, um, until the 23rd, so moon, so I wouldn't do anything until then. It's not going to be available for download yet. You got two more days, man. Um, it's a way better game than Dungeon Defenders, but it offers less play. Orcs Must Die games are better than Dungeon Defenders games. They just are. Everybody's going to hate me for saying it, but it's the truth. But Dungeon Defenders games offer more overall gameplay time. There's loot, you know? Having the loot grind in there means the game is just going to last longer for you. So, you would have to define what makes it better in that situation. Orcs Must Die games run better, they're designed better, but you're not going to have as much gameplay time. All right, what do we got? We got 21. God, that stinks, man. I don't think it's going to work without having the... I mean, I'm going to try it. But I'm not very confident, and I feel like I might want to bring something else along too. More concerned with the size of these orc armies. I find it's not really the size. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. Anytime you got a bunch of flyers to go with um, an ice amulet. You have been making quite a mess. Seriously. Because other than it's going to one-shot all flyers except Frosties. The sudden organization of the orcs. The order may depend on it. Wow. You certainly know a little Let's bring that. Let's orcs. ditch this for ceiling lasers. Even though I don't have them upgraded. All right. Let's see. So we want to do it on these lanes that have ground mobs, right? Now, obviously, if I had the upgrades, we'd have two more laser beams in the middle here, which would make it way better. But, you know, I don't have them, so what can you do? You don't have them, you don't have them, right? Uh, we can start preparing for this next one, too. Let's just go right, right there. Uh, if I flip them, they're going to be worse on the flyers and better on the ground lanes. I want them better on the flyers and worse on the ground lanes. Basically, I don't want to have to deal with flyers. I don't mind dealing with ground mobs, especially with the stone staff. 
So that's just kind of a play style choice. Do you? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Starting off right. <laughs> so do you want to kill the flyers or do you want to kill the ground mobs? That's what you have to ask yourself. I want to kill the ground mobs and I don't want to kill the flyers. Of course, the shock bats are going to be immune. Get this whole way. area all jacked. Flyers in the air. I mean, I could always go with some freeze, too. Ow. Scramble mode's gonna be fun, but I think scramble mode is gonna be a whole lot more fun once you get everything unlocked. It's gonna be way more enjoyable then, in my opinion. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw... Throw another one right there for the ground. And then let's fill it in here for the ground as well. All right. What else we want to do? Well, we could get some freeze going as well. And I'd kind of like to have more freeze. That'll get me two of them. We could go like that. They are just about on me. Too many damn, too many damn mobs here. I'm gonna have to let some of the flyers through, I think. And it looks like we got uh, what a grenadier coming. They're entering the rift. More enemies in the rift. A mana rage trinket may have been nice here too, since I've got so many slots I'm not using. I mean, everything survivability-wise would be very nice here. Man is running up. Listen. Oh, nothing. More enemies on the way. 
Flyers incoming. Hmm. Um. I mean, I'm enjoying it. It's hard to say whether. I mean, I really, really loved OMD too. It was my favorite of all the OMD games. I don't think I'm far enough along uh, to really pick. I was really, really, really into OMD2. I mean, it was a big part of my life for a long time, you know? This is just gonna lead to failure here. I think I'm just gonna need more unlocks. You gotta remember too that this is a DLC. So this came later. Uh, so like when this DLC was introduced, you already had everything unlocked from the base campaign, you know? Because you played it for months before this DLC got here. Why can't the Grenadier just go in? <laughs> yeah, this is a big old fail here. I mean, I'm only wave four. Stop them quickly! Stop them quickly! Um. Well. Do they have any bigger ones? I mean, they were pretty challenging in OMD two as well, uh, on some of the maps. You know. So, I mean, I would say they're equally challenging. Actually, I would say they're probably more challenging. They're more of an element. Like, this entire DLC is really, really centered around, um, around flyers, you know? All set. <laughs> they're both a doig. Yeah, I mean, flyers are flyers, you know? In OMD 2, I want to say there was more tools to deal with them. You know? Alright, we got no flyers this wave. Let's just get up here and get uppity on these fools right here. Aww. One of our gates. I thought about They've broken through a gate. Grenadiers are coming. Where your head at? Can't find his head. That was me that did that thing there. I should have brought the mana rage. There's so many things I should have done. Looks like I'm losing. Uh, am I going to be able to? Nah, it's an armored ogre. Nope. Fail. The saw blades are really good, um, especially on some of the maps. Some of the maps are better than others. All right, let's see. Now, what did I say I should have brought? Well, I should have brought the mana rage. And the mana rage, you can use it without dumping anything else in. Or, I mean, I can increase the max mana from the passive. Mana rage feels like it would have been good. Yeah, the, I'm on Steam, playing on Steam right now. Uh, 580 Lightning. So this is the launch version of Steam. I didn't even use the Ice Amulet. Um, do I have enough for a laser upgrade? Bam. That's going to be a huge difference right there. And then, what did I have on the Freezy Freeze? I got no upgrades on this. I can increase range. Uh, I feel like straight up increasing the damage would be good. 
We're already three tiles wide, I think, so I, th I think the range is good. So let's just go with a damage upgrade here. You know what, y'all? It's getting hotter and shit. Let me uh, turn a fan on real quick. I'll be right, right back. All right, sorry about that. It's just getting warm, warm, warm. So, I mean, this is anything that's more is more, right? So that's more. I like it. Now, is there a better alternative to brimstone? I do have it set to arcane because we've got all these fire uh, immune mobs. Uh, let's try it. Now, butterflies are really good. Um... They're per they're wonderful for comboing. More concerned with the size of these orc armies. I, I can tell you what time the game launches. They posted it on Twitter. Uh, so hold on one moment. Let me I'll take a gander. Tweets and replies. Not immediate plans. Noon UTC. So it's early morning in the Americas, afternoon for Europe. Um, I will give you guys... Actually, they broke it all down into... Actual times already converted for everyone on one of these Twitter posts. Let me see. Now, of course, I don't see it. Um, they did, uh, it's noon, noon UTC is what they posted on Twitter. So you'll have to, uh, convert that over to your local time. So yeah, 8 a.m. Eastern. No, there's no PVP. Orcs Must Die games are not really, well, OMDU, of course, had it, but generally speaking, Orcs Must Die games are not about PVP. All right, and we got this one as popping first, right? Now we got five laser oh, beams. Spot. I like it. Uh, it looks like I'm missing that side, huh? I feel like that. Yeah, 5 a.m. Pacific. I'm going to be streaming on uh, Steam on launch day. And like when I saw the times, it's like there is no damn way I am getting up at five in the morning. <laughs> All right, here go, we go. Go, go. Oh, shit. God dang it. I never picked the damn. I never set my bar up. All right, we got the freeze. We wanted mana rage, right? With the size of these orc armies. I find it's not really the Just to increase our mana pool. More about how orcs blow into little pieces. Well, you have been making quite a mess. Seriously, however, keep your eyes Um, yeah, the lighting, the bloom, the things that change from OMD1 to OMD2 is not the texture. Well, you certainly know a little something. The texture is the same. Things like the heat coming up off the water that's things that weren't available back in omd2 days so i mean you have to look at that the art style is the exact same it's very very similar which i'm glad you know i it, you fall in love with the art style of a game there's nothing worse when the developer changes it on you right that works so yeah it's that and it's running at 140, 150 frames per second on my machine. So that's the difference, you know? Like deodorant. But things like the basic textures of the games, that hasn't changed in 20 years. It's the lighting, the bloom, the effects. That's what is different. 
I mean, Orcs Must Die 2 looks wonderful, though. Why would you want it changed, I guess, is the question. It runs smoother. I don't got froze. I mean, I personally love the art style in DD2, but I mean, you know, there's we've all got our opinions on art style, and there's no wrong one, right? Everyone's opinion is their opinion. More enemies on the way. Flyers incoming. Yeah, this one would be wonderful with two players. Um, I know Vermilion Phoenix has access to it. I was going to try to get him to play some co-op, but our schedules are just way, way, way different. And then Wanderbot has access to it, but... I, you know, I mean, Wanderbot's a big YouTuber and, sh and streamer, so I can't... He gets people, smaller YouTubers all the time, I'm sure, sending him messages saying, hey, let's co-op this. So... I mean, I know I get a million messages saying, let's do a collab, and, you know, I look at their channel, and they've got 75 subscribers, so it just doesn't give, there's, the benefit has to go both ways, you know, I guess is what I'm saying, with uh, collab type situations. All right, now, do I just want to focus, or do I want to start pre prepping this lane? I guess we'll just start prepping this lane. I mean, I feel like I should not do that, though. Let me take two of these out. And uh, get a little something else down here. Something, anyway, right? Hmm. I got him moved over a little bit too far. That's weird. Good thing I looked, huh? I want them here, not where I had them. Yeah, there we go. So, like, to me, personally, I feel like I'm getting up way too damn early just right now. <laughs> when am I not ready? More enemies on the way! Well, I mean... <clears throat> There's co collabs are a good thing. There's nothing wrong with collabs at all. But collabs have to benefit both users, or there's not motivation to do it. You know? Yeah, the buffer's got to be on your end. I'm uh, seven thousand or seven thousand five hundred kbps today, but I've got zero drop frames and about an eight second delay from what I'm seeing. Or it's on YouTube's end. YouTube was having issues um, with uh, their ingest servers earlier. So that's always, you know, that's always a possibility as well. Naretan, thank you so much for subscribing. I do appreciate it a ton. Oh, god dang it. You had to turn around. I can never find their heads when they turn. was sketchy as all hell, but it was a better. <laughs> oh! You're hearing thunder outside every few seconds? We had some crazy, crazy thunder and lightning and stuff going last night.
like so loud that it woke you up. You know, I'm over by Spokane, Washington, and it was just super intense. All right, they're making that final turn. Ooh, they're in. No final turn, they's there. Shit, is the Grenadier dead? Yeah, he's dead. Right now we got a freshie opening up. I'm awesome. We got this Fantastic. lane right here. Hmm, I got mixed emotions. What to do here? What was the little ability? Um, that is the jar of ghosts. You know about the jar of ghosts already. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you just jump and then stone staff in the air, it hits the flyers pretty effectively. Most of the time. Of course, there is always that juicy choke factor. I do that pretty well, too. Right, let's see. Go like that. Oh, yeah. Petrify or freeze one shots flyers. I'm ready if you're That's ready. why I was so insistent on getting my stone staff upgraded before I started this DLC. <laughs> Just to me, it seemed like kind of a no brainer. Had to do it, right? Got really good range when you upgrade it too. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. They've broken through a gate. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Here they come. All right, we got Knowles coming. I'm gonna let him come to me. Well, I mean, this one obviously is right here. But... There should be one coming up behind me here any moment, right? Ooh, I wonder if there's any opportunities on this map for that arcane... The arcane bowling ball. The snowball cannons are really good, Omni. They're super, super good. I'm going to let that first armored ogre in because he's too thick. He's too thick. I ain't got enough pow pow to beat down the thickness like that. These guys, you can burn pretty quick. We lost another over there. All right. I feel like maybe I need to focus one lane super heavy with traps. And do the whole weak side, strong side thing. I got no barricades for you fools to blow up. You blow me up. Ooh, we got a mana potion. Oh, I got the mana potion, then died. Where's your biscuit? so difficult to find the heads sometimes on some of these guys. All right. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Well, we better do something pretty damn quick, right? Thank you so much for subscribing. I do appreciate it a ton. Let's see. Let's do that. See, it's almost burning the trolls. Just not quite. But almost. Okay, that was fun. 
Oh. Alright, we better get going. In fact, I better take the shortcut. Oh, no! Not that shortcut. Holy shit. Dog's barking like crazy here. That was not the shortcut I was talking about. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. That was not the intended shortcut. Coming up behind me. Why are you trying to backdoor me there, Grenadier, huh? Where'd it go? There he is. Man, this is a tough map here, huh? Well, without upgrades, anyway. There's no way. I'm going to choke right here. I should have put more into one lane. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it here. Elementals in. Our rift is nope, we lost. Um, yeah, that's good. I mean, we've waited three years. Let's give them time to get it right. You know, I'm good with it. <sighs> the big choke. I only picked up one skull there. I'm unsure of what to even do here. I mean, I feel like those snow cannons might be really good. I felt like the laser beams were going to be the answer there. I think the answer is to focus one lane with all of my traps. And then that way I only have one lane yeah, where I have to kill. I'm getting more concerned with the size of these orc armies. I find it's not really the size of the army that counts, but more about how orcs blow into little pieces. Well, you have been making quite a mess. Oh, but I want to win. Keep your eyes I mean, I'm not going to sit here and fail this map over and over and then uh, just stop and go play Scramble. <laughs> that and I decide when, not anybody else, you know. Set up two kill boxes, you think? And not worry, not sweat the flyers? I mean, that's always an option too, right? Yeah, I mean, failing and figuring it out is the fun, exactly. The saw blade launcher is really good for flyers, but this area, they just, if I put saw blade launchers, they're just going to bounce all the way down and into the lava. You know? The flyers are difficult to try to man by yourself. But let's try it out. Let's try it out. I am just so ready. I just I guess I just need to get that thought out of my head. It's the same way. What's that other map? The first map of the DLC. You have to choose. Do you want to kill the ground mobs or do you want to kill the flyers? And I never, ever, ever want to kill the flyers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the stone staff is just a beast, right? So dealing with the flyers is not that terribly difficult. It's especially when you're equipped for it, right? Alright, we got more flyers. Let's just keep collecting the coin. The gravity pillar is what I tried the first time. It does pretty good, but it's not as good as the lasers, I don't think. There are 
enemies in our rift right. room. The war major ripping. Come on, damn it. Enemies at the rift. All right. And then we could go 11,000 into a kill box here, which should do pretty damn good, you'd think, right? Where do we want it, though? Uh, I'm not really into the backseat gaming there, Kel. So, um, appreciate it, man, but not really asking. Traps go up, orcs go down. Let's do three. And then we got Scorcher Room, too. Well, I got so many fire immune enemies, I feel like the Scorchers would probably be not smart. I mean, that's going to thin the herd quite a bit right there. Get a window up there, too. Sixty FPS. They said, you know, they don't. I haven't seen them say any numbers, uh, Tom. But I did oh, see yeah. them say that although there will be a full-blown uh, Series X and PS5 launch later, that the game will run better on a Series X and PS5. <clears throat> all right, let's do it. I'm gonna basically More go all into away. that side lane over there. At least shut that one down. Flyers in the air. Our enemies are breaking through elsewhere. Watch out! Our enemies have broken through again. Here they come. There are enemies in our rift room. Let's see how much pushes through. There was an armored ogre, right? The armored ogre will definitely make it. What else was in that side lane? There's a few mobs yeah. coming through, it looks like. Ow. Ow. Ah, come on. Unfreeze me now. I feel like this, the... There are enemies in our rift room. The gravity pillars may even be a better thing just because they did provide so much CC. That was a lot of CC, right? Is that it? Ooh, do they have any more of those? All right. We can go even fatter here now. <clears throat> Let's go one more here, and then we'll go with uh, some lasers in the mid. God damn it. Yeah, that's one of the challenges, too, that I think maybe the kill box setup is a good idea, because that will at least generate some more combo coin, you know? close they get and we still got a little ways there are enemies in our rift room for a split second I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned
Oof. All right. That was sketch, man. <clears throat> All right, I got 7,000. A blade staff, huh? I'm just not a big melee fan. Most games I play, I never play melee. I should have somebody to do this for. Me. That leaves me 4,600. Let's get another grinder there. I almost wish I had brought another floor trap with me. I'm not going to bother with the Scorcher because there's so many fire immune mobs. And we got no flyers this time. Now what do I want to do? Do I want to guarantee this lane gets shut down? I kind of feel like I do. Shame the lasers don't go through the floor, huh? <laughs> I guess that'd be cheating. Oh, the trap reset trinket. Just the passive on the trap reset trinket would be really good in a situation like this. Isn't it great how games give you Enemies at the rift. Right, let's get this guy dealt with so we don't have to have him chasing us around. I got through. They're entering the rift. That's not bad. Ooh, that was almost sketchy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to let a little bit through here, I think. That was me that did that thing there. Man is running up. Okay, that was fun. Get the armored ogre last. Actually, yeah, we should have just got him last. I could use some help. They're almost there. Cyclops made should be good and squishy. Enemies at the rift. Oof, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, some tanky mofos, huh? Shit. More 
enemies on the way. Try to get these wraiths down. Armored ogre right out of the gates. That's just so wrong. <laughs> Troll made it. We're gonna let him through. In our rift room. All right, and I got a grenadier coming at me. Trying to backdoor me here. Let's get him real quick. They're almost there. Ow. We got one more we're going to have to give up on the other side. And this armored ogre, I think. This is rough, man. This is definitely rough. I'm gonna let that armored ogre go through. Enemies at the rift. Way too sketchy here. Hopefully I get a break here after this one. After this wave. For a split second, I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned. They're almost there. Enemies at the rift. in our rift room oof nope no break uh the part time is the fifth skull more enemies on the way flyers incoming no through the trap field I'm screwed here this time, right? I got 16. Man, there's just no way I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to need to just revisit when I got some more upgrades, I think. We got one more knoll or whatever coming. Let's grab the skull here so we don't lose it. Armored ogre. Do I want to let the armored ogre through? I kind of feel like I do. There are enemies in our rift room. More enemies in the rift. I don't see an arrow wall would have been really helpful here. Yeah. More enemies. We only have half our rift points remaining. I could have spammed some arrow walls really, really quick without losing any of the CC. I'm just going to revisit that map after I get some more upgrades. Like I said, it's DL that was originally designed as a DLC. 
So, like, when we played that map on, uh... When we, when we played that map on Stadia, when the DLC launched, we already had all the skulls. So let's bail on out of here. We'll come back to that map later. Definitely sketchy stuff. Here's the shitty part. We got this goddamn map again. <laughs> As part of Scrabble. So I got, um... You get one re-roll, and I didn't know, and I re-rolled, and I, my, I got a worse... I got a worst option. So this is scrambled, basically. It's going to choose maps. We've got um, 100 total rift points to get through five maps on. And um, that's the objective. I haven't played it at all, so let's just check it out. Let's try it out. So we got Abandoned Passage. Um, the debuff is going to be Fire Fiend Overlords are added on every wave. I don't know how many. It says overlords, plural, you know? <laughs> but we'll find out. Let's see, abandoned passage, here we go. So we already know the routine on this one, right? You either kill the flyers or you kill the ground. You, you choose. And I think what we're gonna do We're definitely going to bring those auto ballistas again because I felt like they kind of saved the day. I think we'll keep the ceiling lasers. Oh, that's a curiosity. The rift scroll, I wonder if it affects it. The wind belt is kind of, you know, this is blasphemy to say it, and it was the most used item for me in OMD2. The wind belt in OMD3 sucks. It's not a, a controlled frontal cone where you can really control the flow of orcs. I mean, I'm still going to get, I'm after I get some, get all the unlocks, I'm going to practice with it and try to get better with it. But like in Orcs Must Die 2, I mean, I want to say I was like an expert with the wind belt. In Orcs Must Die 3, it's a big area blast to the front of you, and it sends the orcs flying all over. It's, it's very, very difficult to actually control where they go. I actually, I gave them feedback on that. Feedback, you like how I, like how I worded that? I bitched to them <laughs> about how the wind belt felt when the game launched on Stadia. How long are we going? We've been three hours here. I've got uh, I've got a little more time though. So let's see. Let's go auto ballista. We'll use lasers. I mean, I feel like some tar traps would even be probably pretty beneficial here, but I don't think they have up have them upgraded. We'll bring them anyway, just in case. Um, what else do we want to bring? I mean, we could go like full offense loadout here. All right, let's just go with this. Now, I'm going to go with those auto ballistas again. Traps, 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 Actually, you know what? Let's traps, put them traps, down traps, here traps. where they've got a little clearer shot on rift to enemies. This never gets old. That works. Let's go like that, and we are going to manually kill the flyers. Oh, yeah, good to go. <laughs> uh, for the first wave, anyway. Flyers incoming. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. The door is down. Here they come. All right, I think that's it. Now, how does this work? After, do I have to clear a map and then I get another modifier? Or is it, it's not a per wave thing, right? I mean, I guess we'll find out. We'll find out as we go here. Here's my Fire Fiend over Overlords. And you know, my first roll that I had, it was like an extra ogre or something. It was, I hit the reroll button just to see what it did. <laughs> and it got worse is what it did. <laughs> Oh, I said there'd be girls. I'm still one of the 
I am just not even going to think about the part time on this one. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the fifth skull, but I'm not, uh, I'm not concerned about the fifth skull at all. I like it when the orcs just walk straight into them. Yep. All right. Like the other. More enemies on the way. Look out, flyers. Come on, flyers, make the turn. All right, there's still a few more flyers, but obviously I gotta get focused on these ground mobs now. I wish it didn't start you off on this map as your first one on Scramble. I know it's probably RNG, but that feels like just absolute shit RNG, man. Having this as the first map, that's why I didn't want to play it until I had unlocks. I'm just going to let those guys go. They're entering the rift. Do they have any bigger ones? Oof. Yeah, it just feels like such crap RNG having this as your first map. Hello, old trap buddy. More Flyers enemies all the way. Air. Yeah, I mean, I've yet to even do an endless map, you know? Look out, fly Trying to bob and weave from the archers that are behind me. <laughs> that I'm not looking at at all. Did I really miss that flyer? Yeah, I did. Enemies at the rift. I mean, I could lose a hundred rift points on this map. <laughs> there are enemies in our rift room. <laughs> enemies at the rift. I promise you, I could. <laughs> There, I saw in the setting there was a thing to reset um, scramble. So like if you just get stuck or whatever, I guess you can reset it and take another another batch of RNG. I'm not sure how long or how often it's going to reset by default, you know. Yeah, you would think so. I mean, we're going to there's only going to be one way to find out, right? Got to try it out. But you would think it would be way smoother than Stadia. Let's see. Let's throw uh, some lasers here. Traps go up, orcs go down. Fact. Let's throw some more lasers here. Right there. Get rid of one more. I mean, that theoretically should buy me a little bit of time, right? All right, we got nothing coming out of that close flyer lane this time. More enemies on the way. You choose maps, debuffs, and buffs. I didn't choose this map. I would have never picked this map. 
so that's not true. <laughs> I mean, you might be able to choose. You get one reroll, so you're not even choosing. Unless I've just not progressed far enough along yet. I mean, I had one reroll. There was no buff, it was only debuff. But yeah, I certainly didn't choose this map. I would have never picked this map as my first one. Well, I mean, I didn't choose the map to begin with, is the thing. I never clicked anything. Like, I hit Scramble, and this was the map that it showed. Unless it just gives you a map by default, and then you can choose it? I mean, I'm already in now. Huh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's a learning experience, right? I mean, this is literally my first time doing scramble, so. Come on, ballistas. What the hell? Get ballistin, ballistas. There are enemies in our rift room. Enemies at the rift. Shit, no mana. God damn it. More enemies in the rift. They're almost there. Enemies at the rift. Yeah, I didn't get an option, so I don't know. I mean, you guys saw it. I just did it on stream. There are enemies in our rift room. I got the blood pumping. But it's all good. I mean, I'm already in now. I'm not going to reset it now, all right? I ain't that much of a little scared little thing. Hey, close. <laughs> Found a good spot. More Fire enemies is in the way. Very close. Buddy. Well, I'm wondering how long they re do they reset? Is it, you know, is it something like you complete it and it automatically resets to a new one? Or how does that work? I mean, if that's the case, like, that would be the way to, to really grind out the skulls, man. You'd be able to get a fresh experience every time. I mean, you would have all the skulls super quick. Well, I mean, we'll see if it lets me choose one going in, but like I said, there was no choice. There was zero option. I mean, there's no chance in hell I would have ever chose this map. I would have chose die in a fire as an option over this map. <laughs> For my first wood. I mean, once I see what the mode is all about, you know? If you win, then you start over. There are enemies in our rift room. All right, well, that's cool. You know. Someone keeping score? Because we totally should. All right, let's see if it gives us a choice now. All right, all right. Increase all ranged weapon damage. That seems good. I didn't bring the trap reset trinket. Or, actually, I can choose the trap, or trap reset trinket when I go into the next map, right? Hard map on start means the easier map next. I mean, reduce the cost of all traps? That seems ridiculously good. But so does increase all range weapon damage. Ugh. The choices! The choices! I'm assuming you could change the loadout like normal anytime you load into a map. 
What's going on there, Jerome? I think I'm going to go with traps. I like it. If it's 1%. Yeah, if it's 1%, it won't be 1%. <laughs> There's no way in hell it'll be 1%, right? Reset trap bad. Okay, now here we got choices. I didn't get this the first map. It was, sh I had one option. All right. Coliseum or Master's Courtyard? Man, such a tough call. Both wonderful, wonderful maps. All men enemies are immune to ice damage or increases the cost of ceiling traps. I don't have any ice damage in my loadout, right? Actually, I do, but I could change that. Increases the cost of all ceiling traps. That's on Master's Courtyard, though. I think I'm going to go with Coliseum. What do you guys think? You guys pick. Never mind the fact that I'm highlighted on Coliseum right now. And if you pick Master's Courtyard, I'll accidentally click this anyway. But you guys go ahead and pick. <laughs> Just joking, of course. I like the Coliseum. I think these are both really good maps. I enjoy both of them really well. I don't know. I'm I'm assuming that the debuff was only for that map, maybe. Take the worst debuff and re-roll. Coliseum sounds better for my trap setup. Well, I can always change the chat the trap setup though. Now does the do the debuff stay is the thing. Like, I don't, the last thing I want is Fire Fiend Overlords added to the Coliseum where there's already Fire Fiends. Okay, okay, so the first debuff does continue through them all. I gotcha. Reduction of all traps is... Yeah, I think that's really good. I, I don't know if I want this one. Reroll. All right, watch me get something really bad. <laughs> All enemies are immune to lightning damage. All right. All right. I can I can live with that. You get one reroll per tier. All right. Let's see, Master's Courtyard with the cost of ceiling traps is not bad. Just don't use any ceiling traps, right? But Coliseum enemies immune to ice damage is not really that bad either cuz we can get around that. Especially now that we've got the acid damage in the mix, too. You guys pick. First person to say. Coliseum or Master's Courtyard. It's up to y'all. The first person that doesn't work for Robot. <laughs> okay, Moto Man Dan says Master's Courtyard. Master's Courtyard it is. Here we go. All right, so we want to do this in a conventional setup. I mean, I don't see why not, but what do we want to do with our loadout? Now where are we can't look back at the mutator thingy again. We got ceiling traps, right? We don't want to use any ceiling traps, basically. So Let's just not bring them. Hmm. We 
could bring an arrow wall, maybe. Let's grab uh, some acid and an arrow wall. You know, I don't even have my barricades upgraded yet. I feel that feels criminal to me. How on earth do you not upgrade your barricades? What is wrong with me, huh? Traps go up, orcs go down. Let's see. Let's just do this for the first wave here. When am I not ready? Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. Oh Please yeah. Gate. I didn't think about that. Here they come. I mean this particular map though, I'm completely good with not using any ceiling traps. And I'm pretty sure I've got my brimstone set to arcane for all these little flamey boys. I think. I guess we'll have to lay one down and find out. All these flamey boys. Well, yeah, man. The winner, the winner there is always going to be the initials. Come on now, guys. Don't type it out, for God's sakes. <laughs> All right. And by we, I mean me. And now we've got the other lane, right? Did I grab everything? Yeah, I did. Let's see. Yay, they're purple. So yeah, I shouldn't have a problem there. Through the trap field. Um, let's do that, and then that. I like these 750 coin grinders, man. That's good shit right there, y'all. Hell yeah! Traps, 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 I feel like I should swap that one for an arrow wall, too. I mean, it doesn't even really matter. I'm only going to use this kill box for one wave. Let's just let it fly. More enemies on the way. This is a cool thing. Enemies are attacking on another front. I like it. I like the whole concept of it. I mean, obviously, going to have to play it a little bit more. But I think this is a pretty cool thing. Nah, it's map dependent. Like, I'm just trying to maximize the amount of combos I got. Which, you know, I'm failing at when I'm just spraying into enemies here, but. But I'm trying to maximize the coin, you know. And then now I can move the whole enchilada downstairs. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing there, Daniel. I do appreciate it a ton. I get everything? Yeah. And now we can just move the whole enchilada over here. We got 13k to work with. So by building up the individual places, it gives me an opportunity to build up some coin. And then, of course, uh, I can get the face roll going, hopefully. Or get my face rolled. One of the two. One of them things is about to happen. <laughs> this never gets old. Like I should put the brimstone in the front. It's just so pretty. Nineteen hundred more. We can go. God, I love, I love that one. I hope I get that one every time I do this game mode. That is nice. All right, let's do it. That is super nice. 
I personally don't like the two-time barricades because my barricades are not upgraded right now, but I am a very firm believer in barricades take reduced damage. I know, yeah, I mean, everybody has, has had various luck with different setups, but in OMD1 and in OMD2, I was, I just always had the best luck with barricades take reduced damage. So that's what I personally always go that route. The double barricades are very good situationally, especially for the for the mana cost or the coin cost, pardon me. Yeah, yeah, another good call there. Another butterflies. I don't have them upgraded or I could get two combos off of them. I mean, I'm not, like, trying to go for any scoring now at all anyway. It's just I'm trying to get, uh, the most amount of coin return, you know? Get healed up a little here. All right. Very nice, very nice. Well, I'll let you say it. Right. Ooh, I should have brought the flip traps here. I don't, I don't even think I have them... Yeah, I got him unlocked. I got him unlocked. Let's see. I kind of feel like at some point I'm going to need to put some cushion up here because I'm going to start losing barricades. Am I not ready? More enemies on the way. Got to get to Grandel's. Love me some grinders. It's my favorite trap in the game. I overuse them. It's just got a massive cool factor, <laughs> you know? I mean, come on. Just a huge coolness factor. Got the sparks flying. That's just good shit right there, man. The grinder was just a staple for me in OMD1, and I can never get over it. I just love the grinder so, so much. Yeah, see, here we got Splody Splodes, and my barricades are not upgraded. I feel like I might even want to let them get back here further, in case they do destroy something. I don't have to sweat it as much, maybe? Yeah, let's get a little cushion in. Um, I'm kind of doing it live, uh, Elemental Pink. I will probably end up doing a new set of Five Skull, like a walkthrough type thing. But, I mean, I couldn't wait. You know, I got access to the game, and I've been, like, drooling over the game for months now, waiting for it to hit Steam. So there's just no way I could have could have waited and did a, a edited let's play must play now type of thing. I mean that's not a bad idea. I tell you what, what I really want to do is try to get the game on consoles as well. If I can get the game on consoles as well, then I'll do a let's play type edited series like on PlayStation or Xbox. I'll probably have a vote and let you guys do it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the game on consoles also. I got the blood pumping. I mean, I'm hoping, but you know. I don't think we're going to have any kobolds on this one, Omni. We got the fire elementals, which are just as bad, right? I think that's good for the cushion, right? Just focus on the killing. The killing! Let's go one more back here. We got an arrow wall we can throw in there. And there. Let's just let it fly here. 
we're build it's it's coming along here. We're uh we're getting a little kill box going. Can they walk? I don't think they can walk in. They have to be thrown in. So, like a push trap situationally or a flip trap. Nah, there's a, it's a uneven spot. It's half tile. Actually, I could put one and turn it, huh? Let me look. Let me look at it. I could put, uh, I could have put a wall blade in right there. Or one of those little saw blade launchers. That would have been a been an option. Yeah, I'm throwing all my combos away here by spraying into that pack. So I wonder if you can get the same modifier again. Like, could you get reduced traps cost again? I wonder if that's a thing. I mean, I can't imagine it is. It's probably got the diversity, right? I mean, you wouldn't want it. I mean, I guess there'd probably be some meta... meta loadouts that you might want. Can we go another grinder back here? No. I mean, I can't imagine anything's gonna push that far. I got no bleed, man. I needed to bring that crossbow. Get the combo liciousness going. Into the grinders, y'all. I put that way too far up. I mean, or do I actually go for the part time on this one? It wouldn't necessarily be a terrible thing either, right? That buff trap reset trinket seems pretty good, but I just wanted the... Personally, wanted the lower cost. More enemies on the way! I mean, I think late in the... Late in the, um the run, maybe that trap reset trinket would be more beneficial for you. I think the part time is probably doable on most of the maps. It'll be the same thing as uh, just going through it. Um, normally, I think. Some maps are, the part time's a little bit um, a little more generous, you know, than others. I'm wondering too, like how many skulls am I gonna get, right? When it's if I can complete it. I'm assuming if you fail it, you don't get as many. Turn your big old biscuit around, Mr. Ogre, please. There we go. I got a Steam Achievement, Cracking Eggs. All right, Al Alchemist Satchel damage is doubled. I don't have that unlocked yet. Oh, look at this. Reduce the cost of ceiling traps by half. I don't have Elven Short Swords unlocked either. So, I mean, I've only got one option here.
I got seven skulls. So I'm not going to bother spending any yet. All right, we got the front lawn or the lava pits. Oh, my God. Two wonderful, wonderful maps. They're both so wonderful. All enemies are immune to arcane damage or reduced player movement speed. I'll go. I'll run slow. I will run slow. Um. Okay. All enemies are immune to lightning damage. Reduce the player movement speed. Increase the cost of sealing traps. Reduce the cost of sealing traps. So these two just negate each other is what I'm hoping. I don't even think I'm going to reroll. You know what I will do, though? I can't do this yet. Oh, man, if I only had one more skull. I'm going to find one. I'm skull hunting, y'all. We got a skull laying around here I'm not using, right? Let me see. Arrow walls. Let's not use arrow walls. That's 29 skulls. Brimstone, we got arcane damage. I almost want the ceiling laser to deal fire damage on this one. I love this map, y'all. I love this map. What do we got here? Increase range, deal acid damage. Let's not have it do damage and let's go combo hunting. I feel like I want it to freeze though. I'm not sure if we need the range. Let's make the grinder slow and go. That's another combo point. Increase range or place on walls. I mean, we don't need either of those right now. Not for this map. Okay, I don't have any bleed in my in my setup, right? Oh. I don't have stun or bleed. Do we want it to stun or do we want it to bleed? Hmm. Let's just go with the stun. Uh, the new traps seem awesome. I don't have them all unlocked yet, but they seem uh, seem really awesome. I am uh, enjoying them very, very much. Hmm, we got 12 to spend is it. The bleed doesn't last very long. Um, it's just long enough to get in a combo point going on it. I don't have a good ceiling trap here. I got the ceiling lasers, and we got them set up for fire damage. I guess we'll just use those. Um, let me look at my tar. I don't think I have my tar set up. Oh, I do. Enemies remain slowed for a short time, so we're all set there. I think we're good. Let's do it. I got no problem with moving slow either, so I'm not even going to use the reroll on this one. All right, now what do we want to do? Let's get rid of this. Um, I feel like three traps here are overkill. 
Let's get rid of that. I feel like three ground traps are a bit much, maybe. I kind of want a Scorcher. But if I go the Scorcher, I don't need the Ceiling Laser. Oh, shoot. I don't have the Blade Wall yet, either. Or the Spike Wall. I got to take it. I guess we're going to get rid of this. We can get rid of the Scorcher, too, if we're, if we're going to go with the lasers. Now, what else do we bring? We can add that acid back in, I guess. Or do we bring the deep freeze? Let's go like this and see what we can do. I'm still going to stick with the stone staff, even though I don't think it's necessarily the right, uh, right weapon for the job here. Oh, I'm running slower. Oh, yeah, I still got it. I didn't re-roll it because it's basically a wash right now. Because I've got more expensive and half off. And I don't want to get, I don't want to risk getting something worse. I'm, right now I'm one for two on the rerolls. The first reroll I did, I got something way worse. Well, the thing is, is I don't plan on running around. Um, I'll run around in the final wave to kill the boss, and that's literally it. Found a good spot. And move that up just to be safe. All right, and we'll start the kill box right here. Tiptoe through the trap field. Go like that. It's and we'll go like so this. I'm going to bring the lasers back just a little bit. Grinder, we need windows. Sorry, y'all, choking to death. All right, and then we can last resort it with uh, with that. Let's uh, fire it up, get it going here. This one will have the wait, waiting for the enemies to run around. Oh shoot, did I not change it? Oh shoot, I gotta restart, sorry y'all. Oh, you can't restart. Oh no, I didn't take the war machine I wanted for the boss. Oh no! Well, what can you do? Too late now. I will live with it. I will live with it. I'm gonna double dip on this one, y'all. I am gonna get this game mode done and I'm gonna set a number one high score all at the same time. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. Actually, it probably won't save on the regular map. Yeah, yeah, restarting. Being able to restart would ruin the challenge. The Absolutely. They're attacking a barricade. Here they come. Oh, we gonna rip us rip off some double digits on this one, y'all. It is gonna happen. Destroy the oh god damn it really but destroy my shit god damn dynamite archer baddies mofos i got one more round of dynamite archers coming <laughs> 
I'm gonna just let them come on in and I'll just spray down the lane until all them little yellow dots are gone off the mini map. There they are. They gone now. I guess I'm gonna have to just go shoot the boss now. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Time to shoot the boss with your pew pews, weapons, and whatnot. Oh, there should have been a bigger than a 10 in there. Wasn't there 11? No? Huh? Only a 10? I'm not, I'm missing stun and bleed, so. That takes the potential quite. Quite a ways down for sure. Come on in, Bettis. Come on in. Actually, I did. Did I pick stun or bleed on the spike wall? I can't remember. Done. Oh shit. Nice. Nice uh nice spacious placement here. <laughs> I wanted to take the the um like the big ballista that you you jump in. I take that on every one. It just shreds all the bosses. Especially once you get it upgraded with stun. It's just It's like cheating, it's so good. Just like cheating so good and then you don't lose any combos because like I mean I could just spray the banks of archers over there and that's gonna kill the boss or at least get him really really squishy but then I'm gonna lose all the combos off the little works that they kill you know Come on in, Mr. Troll. Here's an 11. Too much kill. Alright, let's fix the derpage here. Um, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, yep. let's just roll with it. Like More it took seven minutes to do that first wave, so I won't be anywhere near the, uh, the part-time on this one, I don't think. I think I'll just kill the the enemies have so far to run. 
I think I'll just kill the, uh... Kill the boss manually from out here. While the enemies path around. Oh, you know what else? That arcane dragon thing would be cool to try out here, too. You could put one on this wall and then one on that wall. Shooting straight sh straight down the path. I think that would be pretty fun to mess around with. But what would you give up, you know? That's always the hard part is what do you give up? We got some dynamite archers in the back. Come on, where's the thickness? There we go, there's the thickness. Splody splodies. We go ahead and drop back until the splody splodes are gone. Well, no. I mean, what would I trade out of the main loadout? Um, I would drop all of any of those things for the ballista. And then the, the one that's one of my shift six, I have never used that once. I don't want to have to shoot my traps to trigger them. So I've actually, even on Stadia, I've never used that. Yeah. A barricade is under attack. <laughs> I totally meant to do that. The Jar of Ghosts is, uh, I'm kind of dependent on the Jar of Ghosts for how I play. I always take it. I mean, unless it's just I can't turn down a combo. I would definitely not take the Ar Arcane Dragon for Jar of Ghosts, though. I would get rid of the Freeze, probably, since I'm only using it two twice anyway. The Jar of Ghosts is just too good. I mean, anytime you get hit, the enemy gets feared. That's just good shit. You know? What's going on there, Obi-Wan? How you doing? There's no way anything is going to make it this far, right? Oops. Then derp that one. Gonna put a safety barricade in the back too. We got one there and then one here. In case that gets destroyed. And we got more um Too cool for school. Bringing up the rear, it looks like more splody splodes. Actually, what I would probably do, since I've got Brimstone as Arcane, if I took the Arcane Dragon, I would probably get rid of the Brimstone, put the Arcane Dragon there, and then, um, I mean, what would I take? Or yeah, yeah, I'd just go with that. I think I'd just go with that. 
Thanks for the skull, mister. Attacking a barricade. That seemed unnecessarily violent. Just point me to the app. All right, at least got the free uh, the free repair on the old cades there, huh? I'll take it. I'll take it. I think we're just gonna let it fly. We don't even need to build anything else. More enemies on the way. Remember your first time playing OMD2? Nice, nice. Such a great game. Your game crashed instantly. <laughs> I had really good luck with... I mean, you'd have the non-host uh, latency. It mainly was a thing... Uh, you had to really worry about it with the wind belt. But my co-op partner back then was in France. His... Um, Wyaton. And then Cheetah. I played with Cheetah a lot too. He was in Germany. And even with um with that much ground between us, I always had pretty good experience. Where the thickness? I almost feel like I should just pop it. I'm tired of waiting. Got plenty of mobs on this one, that's for sure. Good lord, where is... is there not an ogre or troll in this bunch? What the heck's going on? I feel like it would have reset by now if I'd have just used it. Uh, it's, it was peer-to-peer -peer hosting, and there was definitely some issues in OMD2. Uh, particularly when timing mattered. Like if you were going for scoring runs, or like if you were using a wind belt in your build. There was certainly some, uh, some issues with that. Uh, basically how that worked is the host always had to be the one using the wind belt. Um... Or anything that required uh, required timing. Oh, I miss you, Floor Scorchers. We finally have you, and here I'm not using you. I feel so wrong. <laughs> I feel so wrong. Oh yeah, still going. I want to get through this scramble here, either win it or lose it, and see what the uh, see what the reward is. I think there's what? There's only one more map, or is there two more maps? There's two more maps, huh? Because this is number three. Come on in, Mr. Elementals. If I had a delicious beverage, I would toast myself right now. Ow. 
Yeah, I shouldn't have messed with it. I should have just spammed archers out front. I mean, it's not too late. Because, I mean, the score just doesn't matter. You know, I mean, the game's not even launched yet. I'm not going to do any real scoring attempts until the game launches. Let's put them over here. Just spray some stuff down here. That'll help me with the boss a little, too, because he comes out of this, this lane. Someone keeping score? Because we totally should. I'm gonna let it fly here. You ready? Because I'm ready. More enemies on the way. This is one of my favorite scoring maps, and that's why I was just drawn into it. You know. Whoa! I guess bigger really is better. Get them, archers! Get them! That's right. You reset. Reset. You're doing good. You're doing good there, archers. Keep spraying them mofos down. Um, nah. The high score on this one on Stadia is probably... I don't know. I, I have no clue, but two million is not... Two million is a lot for right now because nobody's had the opportunity to play it yet. But a two million score would get blown out on the first day, there's no doubt. They're just such a powerful war machine and I forgot to set up, um, it was my bad. I forgot to choose my war machines that I wanted to bring. So uh, definitely uh, user error on this one. The scoring and the chasing combos and the theory crafting behind it all is a big draw for me personally in the game. <clears throat> I really, really love it. Uh, that's a constant beam. I've got it set up to do fire damage, and it's a constant beam of fire damage, basically. Never shuts off, just a straight laser beam. Runs all the time. Anything that runs into it gets burned. anything have entered the rift something must have got tossed over and I didn't see it it's all good just let it fly here this is the boss wave so I'm gonna want to kill this guy manual like let's go ahead and uh, slap some more of these these down and there is Gorbash He's tanky, man. Can't seem to find his, locate his biscuit. Where your biscuit at, Gorbash? There it is. Oh. Got to kill him, good old-fashioned way. Well, what are you gonna do? Got to do what you got to do, right? I'm awesome and handsome. Get healed up a little here. Hell, man, if I'm lucky, we might actually even make the part-time. But I lost a a rift. 
Oh, did he drop a skull? I missed it. Yeah, he did. Can't be leaving none of those behind, especially this state in the game. Um, well, orcs must die too. I was definitely all about Gabriella, the sorceress, no doubt. If you, like, I loved doing those big physics kill boxes, and they required the wind belt in the, the increased mana was just so good, right? She has two nice big eyes. Oh yeah, very nice eyes. There we go. I actually made the part time too. Crazy, huh? 2.8 mil broadsword damage. Reduce reduce the cost of wall traps by half. Bing. By the end of this, the grinders will be free. Spam them everywhere, y'all. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, Max is supposed to be higher health and a lower mana pool, and Gabriella was, um, what, lower health, higher mana pool? We got split stairs and abandoned passion adds Gorbash to every wave. No, thank you. Holy shit. I mean, how do you not take split stairs, right? It increases the cost of wall traps, but we've got... Wall trap reduction, plus we can re-roll that. Let's re-roll this one. Come on, don't screw me, RNG. Don't screw me. Increase mana cost of all weapons. I can live with it. I can live with it. All right, let's get it. Split stairs. Here we go. <clears throat> Gorbash would bring more skulls, but Gorbash would be a huge pain in the ass. I don't want to risk it this far in. Especially not the guy that destroys barricades. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Let's, uh, let's just... I mean, I didn't even look at my loadout. I think we're good with what we got. I should have somebody to do this for. I don't need no stinking loadout changes. Let's do it. It's been fun, Peyton. It's definitely an interesting twist. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. The door is down. Here they come. I don't get running off on me that soon. Second, I thought about maybe possibly getting a wee bit concerned. I dropped that jar way too close up. Come on, you stupid archers. Wait, what's your pew pews? Oh, 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 maybe I should look at the screen, huh? Look at the screen and the stuff that's going on in the front of you. Okay, that was fun. Come here, you stupid little archers. 
What's your pew pews? It's just so pretty. Let's, uh, let's run upstairs and heal up here. Er, is that a potion? No, nope, wrong potion. Oh, I got that slow movement. Um, I use walls for pathing and to put enemies into the kill box pretty much all the time. Oh shit! There are what the hell happened there? The enemies at the rift. God dang it. If I wouldn't have run up to heal, I would have been able to catch that. Son of a bitch, man. God dang it, man. This was a big old derp here. Because I'm assuming you fail, you failed, right? This is bad. Let me get down here and fix whatever the hell happened. I'm not even sure what smashed through that. I didn't see or hear any sappers. Did sappers actually come? heal anyway well what we can do hmm. uh, more fail <laughs> just in case we get any more we'll throw some dummies and some brimstone So it's Rift Lord now. A barricade is, a barricade is down. Yep. I, I see. I didn't hear the warning for sappers again. That sapper sound did not play. Nah, it's all new content. Let's go ahead and start setting up a backup too, just because I am getting pushed a little. Hello, old 
Oh, now there's Sapper Sounds. Finally. The first two times it didn't play. Gonna get wrecked. Oh, no healing potion in there. I was praying. Oops. Dang it, I can't see. There we go. This never gets old. The barricade is under attack. Boom barrel dispenser is just bring fun, right? That's the thing. I mean, they're really good for super high endless maps, too, because they pack that power. You can tell who who played uh, OMDU and who played OMD2 more by what you call the boom barrels. <laughs> It was a roller in OMDU, and it was a dispenser in OMD2. <laughs> no wrong answer there, though, right? Oh, oh, oh! Got clobbered. God dang it. We might as well go back up and heal again. The part time's out. Actually, if I would have stayed down there, maybe it wouldn't. Alright, where's that guy going? Okay, here we go. If I would have stayed down there, I may have been able to save the par. And by we, I mean me. Crossbow damage is doubled. Player has instant or has constant AoE physical damage. Increase the damage of all traps. Yes, please. God, they're all good. Double crossbow damage. Can you imagine the headshots? Wow. Uh, just refresh there, Shimer. YouTube, several people have mentioned it, so I'm assuming YouTube probably has some uh, processing issues today. That, and they suggest you don't screw stream for more than two hours, and I'm at four and a half now. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Slagfield or Secret Fortress? Armored ogres to every wave and makes armored ogres stronger. I think we're going to take this, but then we're going to roll this fire lord. All right, please give me something else. All enemies are immune to ice damage. I can live with that. All right, here we go. The secret fortress. Now, I don't have uh, flip traps unlocked, so that is out, sadly. But we just got lots of good killing area here. Uh, we could freeze them, actually. Let's see. Let's go... Um... Let's go with some freeze... 
I want to bring... What do I want to bring? I think we're going to bring Mana Rage. What do we want for the ceiling? Well, I, I, I could do the laser beams, I guess. Or do we want something different? Got 225 arrow walls. How do you not bring 225 arrow walls, right? Good lord. Immune to ice damage, so we get rid of that. 225 arrow walls is just good stuff. I don't think I'm going to be using the butterflies. I'm going to leave them in the deck just in case. And all right, here we go. So... We is starting right here. Tiptoe through the trap field. Go like that. Two twenty five arrow walls. Spam them everywhere. Good lord. All right, let's do it. Enemies are preparing to breach one of our gates. They've broken through a gate. You guys are thick, man. Get your ass down here, Mr. Cool. Oh, 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 you got friends. Oh my god, he's got a lot of friends. Shit, we're not gonna have any breaks, huh? Oh, damn. I got 69 rift points left, y'all. Does that mean I auto win? I have to be able to complete it with that, huh? To count for the full auto win. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, my mana regen is hurting, huh? Uh, well, Armored Ogres are super fat, and these are Rift Lord difficulty Armored Ogres now. The magic's not really flowing right now. Not even close. I'm fine. Wrecked. Wow, man, these are some thick boys, huh? Wow, man, so many armored ogres. Holy crap. Ooh. 
I'm gonna lose a bunch here. I, I just don't have any last resort set up yet. I'm gonna have to lose at least one of these or both let's just let them both in wow that was intense more enemies on the way right well we got those cheap ass arrow walls right I feel like I'd be silly not to use them in our rift room. I'd love to, but can't. Oh, no. We're so much smarter Traps, 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 traps. More traps, enemies traps, on traps, the way. Traps, traps. I'm gonna lose that entire kill box up top, huh? good now I mean there's just, just no way in hell I'm gonna lose 60 rift points now right I'm awesome and handsome. oh well it's not my game you have to you have to give uh, robot the congrats I'm just some dude that plays it <laughs> definitely a fun mode though I definitely enjoy the mode it's been definitely a good time it adds a little flavor you know
here's me wishing I would have chose that uh, increased damage of all ranged weapons so really early up. Uh. <laughs> What else? What else? Saw blades probably would have worked pretty good on this one, huh? So many armored ogres. Enemies at the rift. Oof. Oof. Go ahead and hit me, bro. Whatever you do, don't run in that rift. Appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know if anything would trigger them. I don't think anything would run close enough to trigger them. I mean, it's worth a shot. They're only 200, right? But their range is not fantastic. A bunch of crap upstairs that's not even being used either. I wish I could get up there and get rid of that. Yeah, I guess stuff is far enough over to the sides that this should go off. Uh, the tar is not for the traps. The tar is for me. Because that's about where... That's like an oh shit spot. <laughs> that way it gives them a little bit of a slow at the oh shit spot. There we go. I mean, we could always do something else back here, but I just don't feel like it's necessary. Could have done some more up front, too. Yeah, there's new, several new traps. Um, the Floor Scorcher is back from um, the other Orcs Must Die games. Uh, there's several new traps. There's a new game mode altogether. This is um, what I'm playing here right now. Called Scramble Mode. It actually seems really fun. I mean, this is something that... That, and it's five maps. You figure, if you figure, like, what? 10 to 15 minutes for map. I mean, you could probably... Especially once you get some unlocks. You could get a Scramble Mode done in probably an hour-ish. Or maybe slightly over. But it definitely seems like seems like fun. Uh -huh. 
14 seconds. No way I can hit far, right? Ooh, or can I? Oh my god, five seconds left of the part time. No, it's not a free to play game. Making an omelet. I'm assuming uh, that was the scramble achievement. So I got 31 skulls now. Now, what does this... Oh, okay. And then you just hit play again. Total enemies killed, total player deaths. 70 minutes, so even not knowing what I'm doing, I still was barely over an hour, right? So that's not bad at all. I score. Oh, it scores you for the whole thing, it looks like. Fifty-three rift points remaining. Obviously, I failed there. I don't. Th I wonder if anybody's ever else has played it. Only two other people have played it. I mean, that's something I think most people are going to want to do uh, once they get some some traps unlocked and everything. Now, if you choose play again, let's see. I, I would assume it's going to refresh, right? Let's see. I mean, I'm not going to play it again right now. I'm going to uh, go get myself a little uh, food in my belly and uh, take a leak. Yeah, so it changed it up. Great room or abandoned passage. So um, adds a Cyclops mage to every wave. That's rude right out of the gates. Good Lord. <laughs> But yeah, it changes it up. Now, Abandoned Passage is there again, but that's an RNG thing. So yeah. Anyway, y'all, that is going to get it for me for today. Uh, thank you all so much for hanging out. I'm loving this game. Uh, I'm going to be playing it the next few days, no doubt about it. Now, um, let's see. It's 345 now. I'm not going to guarantee it, but there is a chance that I'm going to be playing a little DDA PTR action over on Twitch uh, here later on, but I definitely need to take a little break. Um, I haven't peed in five hours, y'all. It's time. So, yeah, I need to take a little break, get something to eat, um, go, you know, pet the dog, say hi to my wife, make sure she remembers what I look like, all that good stuff. But anyway, thank you all an absolute ton. Um, hopefully everyone's enjoying it Friday, y'all. Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, all on Friday. Hell yes. Um, everywhere, Friday at noon, uh, UTC, which is what, 5 a.m. Pacific Time, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, it will be launching. So uh, thanks a ton, everybody. Have a absolutely wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Take it easy.